Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to GTA 5. Yes, we are here on, well, the mayhem. The mayhem that is a Sunday afternoon. Uh, afternoon? A Sunday evening. I guess afternoon if you're in America stream. Apparently, I'm not very with it today, and I don't even know why. But, yes, it is time. It is time for some GTA shenanigans. I have done a terrible job getting everything set up today. I am not being very efficient. Hold on. Ah, yes, we are somewhat uh, under control. We are somewhat sorted. I have a cat, and Eve currently sat on my lap, uh, so I can't really reach my controller very well. We'll see if Eve actually stays here for any length of time. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, who knows? Apollo has a bone to chew on, so he's happy. All is calm-ish. And I, I say calm-ish, because it probably won't last that, like that for long in my household. But, there we go. The lemon is here as well. We should, uh... <laughs> uh we'll say hello to the lemon. The lemon with the very... I, I presume it's Brazen's car, the pink and yellow machine. I can't think of anyone else who would have that particular vehicle. Um, oh, and there has been a crash on the impromptu circuit. Uh, yes, welcome all to, uh, to GTA 5. We will have some silly races for you with where well, the lemons been knocked over and I have been tased. Oh, that looked like it hurt. <laughs> That's not a good way to die. Or a good way to fall off a thing. Uh, yes, hello everyone. Um, Drake, thank you very much for the... Uh, for the I should say, upon my birthday request, the side of this, can I please I do two chaotic races involving these courses? The Angry Blakey and How's Your 2020 Going? I do the latter first. I did some practice and record how chaotic it gets. Week, if I've still got it downloaded. I've been run over. A policeman has stamped on me. I put the shotgun away, officer. I had nothing to do with anything. I'm not the one causing trouble here. Um, I am absolutely not the one causing trouble here. I am behaving. I mean, I had a shotgun. I always carry a shotgun around, which is not the safest, but yeah. Uh, I can try and run if I've still got some of these saved. That is often the, uh, uh, the, the thing. How's your 2020? I do still have this saved. This is a pretty good chaos circuit, actually. As far as manic tracks go. Oh, and I've crashed. <laughs> We're off to a wonderful start. <laughs> oh, GTA. Oh, you silly, broken pile of... Well, the usual nonsense. Let's try again, shall we? <laughs> I li we've been streaming for... Oh, I don't actually know how long I've been streaming because I've not got barely, barely like three minutes at most. Yeah, we're not even three minutes in, and <laughs> oh, and we've already broken it. Uh, I will need another invite to the game. Chris is on invite duties today, by the way. Not that we've started very well here. Oh, I don't think less than four minutes is a new record. That's the sad thing. The other day it broke really quickly as well. Um... Like, Im immediately. I'm going to guess car park shenanigans got a little bit too much for the game to handle. I, I'm going to hazard a guess. Although we've had sillier car park shenanigans going on. Apollo, why were you just... But you were almost doing the bunny kick that cats do. What are you doing with your back leg? <laughs> You're having a good old chew on the bone. Um, yeah, Chris on invite duties. There's absolutely no way... That's going to go wrong at all. Uh, Ewan can't make it today, so we have got we've got the substitute Ewan uh, in Chris's. Chris is going to be on invites. We'll talk about how to get connected um, when we actually get connected and can actually make some progress. Because you know, uh, yeah, <laughs> we've, we've got problems. If you want to still send feet pics to Ewan, you're more than welcome to. He just won't get them at the moment, and it won't help you get into the game. Um, I really shouldn't encourage it, but it is kind of funny uh, to continue the joke. I don't know what's going on with GTA tonight. Although, to be fair, uh, this... It's mostly expected. It's its mostly expected that something's going to go wrong. Okay, we are in. Are we actually connected properly this time around? We're into a session. We are back. Mostly connected to the right session. Oh yes, send boring car facts to Chris. Let's do it. Um, <laughs> the, the most boring car facts you can find, send those to Chris. 
that is the way to go. Um, and yeah, that will that will work. Uh, right, let us go and we'll try again to load up this job, and we will try and get started, and we will see how it all pans out. That looks a little bit more promising. We've actually loaded here. Uh, James Anderson, thank you very much for the uh, donation. Saying so in honour of uh, NASCAR starting later today uh, with the Clash, do you have any hot takes or predictions for the upcoming season? Uh, I mean, I can't say I do particularly at the moment. I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping, because I'm a Truex fan, so I'm hoping Truex... I say it does a bit better. Truex was consistent last year, just couldn't get a win. Uh, so I would like to see Truex do, to do a, a little bit better. But um, NASCAR last year was quite, not random, but quite a lot up in the air. So we'll be, I'll be looking forward to um, seeing how it all pans out. I'll be looking forward to seeing... Uh, what we what we might get uh, from it. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I see. I don't keep up much with with um, with with NASCAR the sort of off season stuff. So I don't really know much of what's going on over there until, until it uh, comes up on YouTube for like the replays of the races. That's that's about it. Yeah, Chastain might find a new way to. Uh, to win a race, <laughs> having found one, there's probably another way. Uh, there's probably another way that uh, that he can find one. Um, I do like that they've banned his uh, sneaky manoeuvre. Uh, not that anyone was likely to do it many places anyway, but uh, it's one of those things that's really cool that it happened, but yeah, it probably shouldn't happen again. Let's face it. Um... So, yeah, it was... It, it, was a, it was a mad... It was one of those things that yeah, it was awesome that it did happen. But probably should be encouraging it going forward. Uh, Pod, this is well. I say this is a wonderful track. It's a wonderful chaos circuit. Uh, it is a wonderful, wonderful chaos circuit. Um, <laughs> Drake was asking for vans for the second run around. We can we can get some vans for the second time for the first race. I'm doing the let's not have a look and see what it lands on. And it's sedans. We are going to be racing some sedans now. It will be locked to a certain vehicle, I believe. Um, So we should be fine. I mean, I say we should be fine. It's not going to be fine. If you've seen this track before, you know what's about to happen. <laughs> and it is, uh, yeah, it's going to be a big, a lot of, a lot of big crashes. It might see a couple more laps. They have very short laps around here. I might regret this, but let us begin. We have got thirty people, uh, so we are currently full. Uh, as spaces, I don't even know where Chris is in. Oh, Chris is all the way down the bottom, almost the bottom of the bloody list. So we are currently full. There might be spaces come up later on in the session. If you do want to take part, send a message to Chris, whose game tag is alongside where I have highlighted. We are playing on Xbox, and you will need the enhanced version if you want to take part. Uh, if you do send Chris a message, uh, do not just spam, because you will just keep going further and further back on the list. So, yeah. Send one message and then wait, and then hopefully um, you will get an invite at some point as or when spaces appear. Let us begin. What are we going to be driving here? I mean, this, these, these cars aren't too bad. Uh, whichever, there's no real terrible sedan. I guess maybe the SC is quite slow, but it's not bad to drive. I don't know how mean Pone has been in terms of the car selection uh, for this. Could be... Okay, well, the uh, Surge, not bad. I mean, it's not the fastest car in the game, but it's decent enough handling and everything. Um, yeah, let us have a go. I love how the AI traffic in the background is already going up. Something's already exploded and we've not even got started. <laughs> That's quite impressive. The grid, I mean, when you see a grid like this... Um, you know things are about to be bad. Uh, you you know things are about to be uh, terrible. Yep, I mean, there's already been crashes before we've even left the grid, but thankfully, host advantage. Oh, a few sneaky ones have gone for boost pads. Now, I don't really like trying to go for the boost pads, mostly because you go too fast into the next corner. Uh, now, the first lap... Oh, Shadow is braving the boost pads. I am not at the moment. First lap, not too bad. The second lap... 
is where it starts to get worse and worse and worse and it will continue onwards until the middle of the track is completely blocked shadows already hit a car in the crossover section in the motorway section nine tails is flying in the boost pads of course uh, nine tails is making or oh, making the most oh crap i'm about to find some boost pads i found some boost pads into nine tails <laughs> sorry nine tails oh things have gone very explody immediately uh, <laughs> That's, I mean, it, it was expected. It was expected that things were going to go explodey. Uh, I didn't even intend to find those boost pads, but we did get them anyway. Oh, G-Wagon. Well, that's someone. I think that was Ducky ended up uh, eating G-Wagon. You don't want to eat a G-Wagon, right? They're not very tasty. They kind of... Oh, there's a falling car. That's exploded. It's out of the way of us, though. Well, it's out of the way of me. That's kind of what we care about at the moment. Uh... <laughs> Uh, you know, you've got, you've got, you very much can't really be worried about other people in this race for the most part. It's just dodge traffic, dodge traffic, hope for the best. Oh, that's a lot of cars. Oh, okay, we're underneath that. Shadow's backwards. Chris is here and the lemon's turned up as well. Hello, Brazen. Uh, <laughs> and somewhere, oh, we found a Joe and I found a Hummer. And there's another Hummer. Oh, and we are pointing, oh, pointing the wrong right way. Hello, everyone. Chris has the lead, that is Nine Tails and Lado. Sound is maybe up, maybe a lap down, not sure. The leaderboard does not change very quickly in this. I think sounds a lap down, actually. May have got stuck early on in this. So Chris leads. These are second and third in front of me. Oh, Brazen managed to get hit by two cars. Oh, and we're playing we're being played pinball with. We're back on our wheels again. Oh. We might have spun. Sorry, Amy. I did not realise there was a car trying to sneak past on the inside. I was trying to get out of the way of everyone. And, uh, yeah, did not realise Amy was going to be on the inside. There's another exploding AI car. Uh, we are sl uh, slipping down the leaderboard a fair bit at the moment. We've had a bad couple of laps. Uh, <laughs> we have just hemorrhaged positions from what was quite a nice lead. It has gone wrong. Though... But the looks of it, Lado's dropped by. Lado is still behind us, so God knows what went on in the crossover section. Last time around, every bloody time. I keep getting hit there. <laughs> oh, I think that was Lado has helped us somehow. We are racing Shadow, we're racing Level 8, we're racing Aaron, and we're racing Chris. Uh, those are the cars we need to try and keep... Oh, well, me and the white car there both tried to, to dodge each other, and what we ended up managing to do was crash into each other. That's not particularly helpful. Damn it. Uh, and we are slipping further and further down the uh, leaderboard at the moment. That is not what we want. Oh, hello, Gliska. Ah, right. We need to try and avoid some crossover mayhem. That would be nice if we could get a couple of laps of not being involved in crossover mayhem. Would be ideal. We'll do that our car. I think too terrible. Looks like we're going to be clear of the traffic this time around. Crane has found an apostrophe to crash into. Uh, <laughs> again, I'm aware it's called an asteroid, but I shall forever call it an apostrophe because it's more fun. And that's just what my dumbass brain reads it as, pretty much. Uh, there is Hyper and Shadow. I don't know if I'm racing both of you for position. We're definitely racing... Yeah, okay, we are. We're definitely racing both of those. Ducky is the next car we're trying to chase down, which is the one of the yellow cars. I think it's that one in front of us, up there. And then that could be Chris in the grey car. Could be Aaron. I know they both drive grey. That is Aaron. So that one there is also looking likely for position. Uh, we've got Lado uh, going with us. We've found a gap to get through there. Go on, Amy. Go, 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 go. We race the position we are. So that's for a podium there uh, for the bright pink car. And then Liam is leading the way in the dark grey car. And then there's Chris somewhere about uh, also with the light grey car. So we shall we shall see. Uh, Jula uh, Shaka, I think. I'm probably not pronouncing that one correctly. Thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, I did see a couple of donations came in as well. Thank you. I shall read those out oh, at the end of the race. Um, super, super chat vanishes quite quickly. <laughs> it's, I started, I, didn't, I meant to figure out how to track it better. Oi, hello everyone. Uh, I spot second place. Liam's only a little bit down the road. Liam's only four seconds down the road. All it takes is Liam to get stuck in some sort of a crash, you know, at the crossover. Let's face it, that's where all the crashes are going to happen. And there is a chance for us. There's always a chance. Oh, less of a chance now. I just got understeered into a bloody Hummer. Pone, how have you got stuck there? <laughs> Pone, this is your track. You should know the bits not to get stuck in. God dear. Uh, <laughs> weirdly, the uh, 
track has cleared up. Normally what happens is it's a real mess to start with and it then gets cleaner and cleaner. Or, uh, sorry, it's a real, it's clean to start with. It gets messier and messier until the end where it's just you're constantly dodging wrecks and all sorts of nightmare inducing stuff. No! No, no, I will not. No, I don't want to lose the podium position. Thank you. Okay, we've lost a podium position, but it wasn't as by as much as it could have been. Uh, <laughs> it was a little bit, well, I'll say not cheeky. Uh, oh, Shadow's had an accident. That's the third place back. We know Lado's chasing us down. Uh, we know Hyper's there as well. It was only so much that we could do uh, in that one. I, we judged it perfect, and then the green car hit the boost pad and launched forward into the side of us. Uh, oh, well, that's not great. No, Ladder, well, Ladder's got the podium positions and immediately thrown it away, but Gliska's stolen it. No! The podium is slipping away. We've only got one more time around. Uh, yep, one more time around. Oh, there's Chris. That puts us up into third place if we can clear Longbow, which we do. Uh, <laughs> uh, but Hyper is here as well. This is the battle for third. It's the final lap of the race. Things are exploding. Oh, everyone's been involved in a crash and Longbow's going to get out of it best. Yeah, Longbow's clear. We are not. Uh, Longbow did a, had a great time of getting away from that. The weird mess of Hummers has obstructed that. Liam's taken victory here. Ah. Oh, that just exploded midair. Oh, Longbow has got stuck somewhere. No. Oh, I wanted to go to the inside. However, uh, I could not. Longbow was trying to curb boost on their way up there. I just didn't realise that we were approaching as well. I thought it was a roof had smashed. The glass had smashed, but I don't think it has. It just scratches. Ah. Oh, it, it went wrong. Uh, it went wrong. Well, I say that. No, we still ended up fifth. Amy said they went from first place to a lap behind first to a single lap. It didn't go that wrong. <laughs> Nine Tails has found... Oh, Nine Tails has found a crusher. <laughs> I see how well things have, uh, have gone for them. Liam takes victory, Ducky gets second, Gliska gets the last spot on the podium at the end of that. Yeah, I mean, we saw an opportunity uh, with Longbow being slow, but the only chance was to just throw the car at the inside. But we could make, make it really work. We bounced and yeah. It was worth a go. We were only going to end up fifth anyway, I think. So give it a try. You never knew what would happen. But ah, we ended up seventh. Could have been worse. Hyper ends up eighth. Uh, Valtrek is ninth. Aaron ends up 10th. Where did Chris lead for quite a while? Chris ends up 16th, despite... Uh, <laughs> um, despite having led for quite a long time. That is the way it goes sometimes with these... Often the way it goes sometimes with these chaos tracks. Uh, all in your head. Thank you very much for the donation. Saying, you have cats, right? I do indeed. Uh, I wrote them a haiku. Hope they like. Uh, meow, meow, purr. Meow, 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 purr. Meow, meow, purr. Uh, Eve, Eve has wandered off, but I'm sure she appreciates... I'm sure they all appreciate um, the, the cat haiku. I don't know where she's wandered off to, apparently. Um, after the start of the stream, decided she didn't want to be here anymore. But... Uh... <laughs> I like it. I like the creativity. Uh, Forgotten Silver, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, so, yay, another Sunday of chaos. There will, that is definitely, definitely the way it's going to go. We start as we mean to go on. Um, <laughs> pretty much there's going to be chaos. There has been chaos. Lots of things exploded already. Um... Uh, Judd Philby, thank you very much for the donation. So I once bought a dog from a blacksmith. As soon as I got him home, he made a bolt for the door. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a boo to you. That is going to be a boo to you from chat and from me. You are definitely going to get a boo for that one. But I do thank you very much for the donation. Still going to get a boo. Uh, <laughs> right. We're going to race vans around here next. I feel like it's probably going to be messy. Messier than what we drove last time. What we drove last time, fairly sensible. Kind of good handling. Agile enough to get out of trouble. The vans will not be. I'm going to guess clown vans because normally that's what people make us drive with these circuits. However, um, who knows? Who knows what Pone would have done? Yeah, the, um, the traffic seems to be weird. I don't know. I mean, it, it started off a bit funky. It started off despawning, and then we got the Hummers cluttering one part of the uh, track. So, God knows. 
God knows. Yeah, the grid will probably be a physics ball, because the cars are very close together. So I'm going to guess the wider van. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not clown vans. I was wrong. <laughs> I was very wrong. Oh, uh, dear. The, uh, bad things are about to occur. <laughs> The fact that the game's still initialising makes me worry. Right, so the van- the, Oh, I'm hoping I survive- the, 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 <laughs> the fact that they're already juddering doesn't fill me with confidence. <laughs> it's the silliest sight in all of GTA. <laughs> oh, it's actually not been as mad as I thought it was going to be. That could have gone way worse. There was only like a couple end up- on there, well, a few more, well, uh, one's fallen off the blimp. Ah, I got a bump going up there. Although I don't know if this is really more, <laughs> it's just the sea of, the sea of motorhomes falling off the boost, uh, falling off that sort of start line. Uh, it's still, oh dear. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm going to clear, I've cleared lap one, but it's not going to matter because it's always going to be mayhem. Oy, someone got a uh, thing landed. Someone's had such a bad time they had to respawn the start line. They're already a lap down. Uh, so we've already lapped a good number of people. Uh, it's, it's a poor, it's a difficult start here. Uh, I'm actually tempted. To, so I'm tempted to hit the boost pad for the reason simply that we're likely to get stuck in traffic. We're likely to hit stuff. So at least if I hit with the boost pad, we can hit harder and clear stuff out of the way, right? That's the plan. Uh, Amy survived lap one. Amy's got a funny dent in the uh, side of their camper van. Oh, it's a mess. <laughs> it's a really big mess. It's, I mean, predictably, predictably it has become a really, really big mess around here, uh, which is great. Uh, can I do any? There's a lot of motorhomes about to fall down there. Oh, there's a gap. Where's a gap? There is one. Amy has been a little bit slow. And we are through to the lead. So me and Amy have got about a 10 second lead over the rest of the pack. Those leads are a little bit academic sometimes, depending on what happens. Oh, a Mupavu has just absolutely murdered a person. And we've got murdered by a Mupavu as well. There was a double kill. That was a double kill for the Mupavu. But the good thing is I didn't get the checkpoint at least. While it spat me off, well, the boost pad didn't help. The boost pad just kind of exacerbated the crash that we were having. It, yeah, I, I'm going to blame them up of We can give that a double kill. Uh, I don't know how we're going to survive. I don't know how we're going to survive this crossover point this time around. Uh, well, that's the way to do it, I think. Just boost pad your way into the side of someone. In that case, it was level 8. Sorry, level 8. There's someone falling over. Don't think that's for the lead. Nope. Amy's got a massive lead at the moment. <laughs> Amy's vanished in this one. Amy, oh, hello. That wasn't that wasn't what we needed at all. Uh, speed. And we are going to make a pass stick to the inside of everybody. Um, and we are, well, we're past the pack of vehicles that we needed to lap. And we have caught up to the leader. Can we find a way past AV? The good news is if I can find a pack of cars, campers, sort of behind me, it means... Oh, God, they're not going to be hitting at the crossover points, although Hyper's gone very wide into that corner. Somebody else I saw had a big problem. Uh, right. No, that's not how that's supposed to go at all. Uh, we have done and roll, but... Oh, and Lob <laughs> Longbow's done a better one. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this one's gone off that way as well. I mean, we... Oh, that's, that's a mess. A lot of a mess. Grisco's catching up. There's only nine seconds behind. Valtrek, well, they were somewhere in that mess of campers over there, I think. Uh, this, okay, we've got a little bit of a gap here to uh, to go through before the crossover chaos begins. Uh, we'll go around the outside of this mess of vehicle. To be honest, we don't even really need that much traffic cars to cause problems. The, with the campers on their own cause enough problems. Uh, there is Gliska stuck in the middle of everywhere. Oh! Well, that was just rude at that point. Well, we're going to fall off anyway. That was really not... <laughs> not necessary. I, I, like, absolutely uncontrollable in that it bounced off the wall and just swiped across to hit me. But uh, definitely, definitely uncalled for. Right there. Valtrek is the van in third. So... 
Valtrek is the one that we need to worry about. Uh, well, I mean, also the other things we need to worry about is anything hitting a boost pad. Oh, we've got to help through there. That actually sped us up, so I'll take it. And there's been a big mess behind, so we've, 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 <laughs> we've got away from Valtrek. Where is Amy? That is the big question. Whoa, speed, speed, don't get hit by brazen. That's fine. We're, I'm looking for, is that, no, that's Gliska. Gee, oh, so we need a lap up on Gliska and Gliska's sixth. That's how badly this race has gone for anybody who started further back in the field. Uh, Ducky's gonna be out of control. Uh, whoa, there's a lot of pinballing around there. Jeez, where's Liam? Liam's sixth. Okay, so Liam, yeah, Liam's sixth. Uh, that is almost... Oh, crap. Oh, okay, we didn't hit the boost pads, so actually worked out quite nicely for us. We could sit, we could wait, we could bide our time. Why is there a motorhome falling from the boost pads? Uh, <laughs> don't even don't even know. Don't even know. Uh, we are 27 seconds clear of Valtrek now, so we're almost a lap up on Valtrek. Amy is a fair way in front of me. The only way we win this now pretty much is if Amy has a bad time. Very nearly got landed on by an exploding car, but uh, did not that time around. There's a whole graveyard of wrecks for us to uh, to be dodging through all of that. Uh, it's nice and clear run this time around. Liam's had a bad time and is slow on the exit. Sorry, Crane. Don't mean to be pushing you out wide. I was just trying to dodge a Liam. Salmon's gone for a curious wander down that part of the... Uh, track. I think there's so much chaos being caused by motorhomes, the traffic isn't spawning properly anymore. Uh, it's the final lap of the race. And there is Aaron. Oh dear. Well, Amy had a problem, unfortunately. It was crashing into me that was the problem. And we came off worse. <laughs> oh, Aaron. <laughs> Aaron's had a weird flip. Was that of the building? Uh, I'm gonna guess it was. That, that was quite the accident from Aaron there. Uh... Can we... Oh, no! That's fine. Well, it's less fine. Amy has taken victory. Uh, we have... Vera, we're even further ahead of Valtrek. Oh, than we were. We've caught a longbow. But we might have actually saved a longbow. Nicely done, longbow. <laughs> oh, Valentine's fallen off. <laughs> oh, that, that was... Uh, that was not great. Longbow's quite lucky. I think we saved longbow from falling off. Hey! Don't you push me this way. It doesn't matter. I'm going to cross the finish line anyway. It doesn't matter. Like, we, we're going to finish. We're going to be second. We're laps ahead of just about everyone. <laughs> Sounds tried to climb Chiliad and it's not working. <laughs> oh, and where is Ninetales? Is Ninetales still racing or has Ninetales found somewhere to park? Oh, no. Found Ninetales. Ninetales has found a river to visit. And there's there's Ninetales. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Oh, pfft. Lado's found an alleyway. <laughs> Who is still driving? Crane. I think Crane was driving. Oh... There is Crane. The motorhomes are everywhere. Yeah, we didn't even... We didn't even need traffic as such to make this chaos. The traffic has made it more chaos. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. Amy takes victory. We are second. Drake uh, gets onto the podium in third. Uh, Valtrek is fourth. Shadow Marine fifth. Zach sixth. Longbow seventh. Uh, Liam 8th, Hyper 9th, and Joe uh, rounds out the top 10. Hey, and something has just fallen from the sky and exploded. A lot of that has happened, has been happening around here. Oh, the cement mixers have joined in. I was hoping they were going to be boosting through the, or, you know, when, when you get the spawn set that has those boosting through this section, it gets really messy. Um, but, you know, <laughs> sometimes GTA doesn't quite... Uh, want to play nicely. I think maybe this is too much chaos, that the game is just having problems getting it to work. Sounds about right. That uh, really. There we go. Pump the uh, cement mixer into the well. Oh, look, there they are turning up now. <laughs> go on, take the boost pad. Go on, fly cement mixer. Fly oh, we didn't get to see what would happen. Um... And there we go. <laughs> Don't worry, Craig. I think just about everything that happened in that was out of our control. So, <laughs> you know, it, uh, it happens. It happens. But well done, Amy, for uh, uh, for claiming victory around there. Uh, call me Chris. Thank you for the donation. Uh, saying, rail face. Will it wheels and will I stand? Have you had a lot to drink? Uh... <laughs> I'm not even sure if I need to give you a boo or not for that one. Uh, 
Ch- Chud Philby, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, I attempted to sabotage the World Fencing Championship recently, but I was foiled. Ah, I am going to give you a boo. And chat will also give you a boo. You are very much deserving of a boo right there. But thank you for the donation. Still going to get a boo, but, you know. Uh, David J. Rex, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, hello, Alex and Fellaris crew from Washington, D.C. Happy Sunday. Uh, indeed, well, indeed, happy Sunday to everyone over watching. I hope all Monday, if you're in Australia, part of the world, um, over over that side. I uh, hope you've all been having a good weekend and everything. I uh, hope you're enjoying your Sunday evening chaos uh, that we are very much... Uh, very much delivering very much delivering uh, in this one uh, sounds thank you very much for the donation so i wasn't even halfway through lap one before i was put two laps behind so i decided that this camper needed to go somewhere never to be found again yeah that's yeah <laughs> the circuit is fun it's wacky it's silly sometimes we, yeah you have a bad time Hell, I mean, we'd lapped everyone up to. I think almost. I think third was almost a lap down by the end of that. It got very silly, um, and that was with traffic not really spawning properly. Considering, yeah, traffic not spawning properly. That's yeah. If that had had proper traffic, it would have been crazy. Relatively, uh, relatively calm at the end of it all. Uh, oh, we can't scoop up Mute's car. I, I kind of expected this too act as a scoop. Sadly, it did not. Um, oh, Ladder saying the reimagined uh, city circuit has new cars. Well, you know what? We can go there. We will go to a sensible track. We will go to a sensible track next. Uh, we have been pushed into a barrier. Well, we, the barrier is as compressed as it's going to compress, so that's fine. We can go there. It's the track that Gliska seems to always have someone disconnect the controller directly in front of them. It's a fun track, though. Uh, it's a good race circuit. It's a sensible race circuit. A couple of nasty... Uh, but there's, a, there's a narrowing section uh, that you've got to be a bit careful of. And this is... I think I saved it. What's it done? Reimagined city circuit. Here we go. This is the one. Um... We will go and give this a try, and we will see what happens. Hopefully, some good racing. Possibly some big crashes. It's the fail race guarantee. <laughs> One of those, basically. Both of those, probably. Let's face it. Uh, especially on the final lap, everyone trying to fit in the tunnel. Uh, if you haven't seen this circuit before, you will quickly realise what bit I mean by everyone trying to fit in the tunnel. Uh, it, it does get a bit crowded. No, you can do it. So, there's, there's a slip road coming off the motorway that to get through, you have to go through a relatively narrow gap. Now, you can fit two cars wide. Okay? You can fit two cars wide, but no more than that. And if you do try and go too wide, you've got to be very aware. You've got to give each other plenty of space. Okay? Plenty of space. And careful going too wide. And I know I'm going to say this, and I know no one's going to listen, and I know we're going to have a really big accident. But um, oh, there's a few new corners. Ah, oh, has it been? Has it been a re reimagined city circuit? Um, that's cool. And um, I'll be interested to see how that all works out. I like this track. It's a good fun circuit. Uh, we've ran various guises of it a few times, and yeah, we will see how it. Uh, Hands out. Hopefully, everyone is going to behave as good as possible. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're going to see. Yeah, as Mr. Unconcerned says, in one ear and out the other, is I'm pretty sure what's going to happen. Don't. I mean, too wide through the tunnel is a bad idea. It can be done, but I really wouldn't recognize it. Um, well, really wouldn't recommend it, sorry. Uh, if you are going to go too wide, please make sure you give each other enough space. Because. Yeah, if you crash in the tunnel, there's a really big problem because it will block the track. So, yeah, let's let's try and all be good. Let's see what happens. I say this, it's going to be me that uh, crashes into the tunnel, though, in my luck. Uh, Pone, thank you very much for the donation. So in the wheelbase of a front-wheel drive E80 Toyota Corolla is 2,430 millimetres. 
and there we go. <laughs> there is the boring car fact uh, to try and beat for today. Um, that's one for Chris's books of car facts. Also, apparently, Aaron sent Chris a message just saying poo. Wonderful. <laughs> that sounds about right, really. Uh, with You see the maturity level of the... Um, filming crew that was, that was where i was going with that sentence yeah pretty much that is that is pretty much the um the, the maturity level right shall we see how this track might have changed as you can tell it's a ladder circuit by the blimp advertising uh <laughs> going on there oh let's see what happens in this one so ooh, this first section relatively quick um Got to be a little bit careful of the grass. Don't actually normally like jumping over the grass there. You can either go around it, you can go to the inside. Either or does work. Uh, we've got a big braking zone coming up towards a hairpin down here. And oh, we also have to, you have to admire the bridge. Okay, that's the rules here. You have to admire the bridge. You have to tell Lado that it's an impressive bridge. Uh, otherwise, Lado gets grumpy. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, it is, it is a well-made bridge and all that. Careful of the wall over that side. Uh, where do we go? Okay. Is this... No, I think this is... Uh, did this go all the way back around? This section here might be slightly changed. I think it's slightly longer than it used to be. It's a slight extension on that part of the circuit to maybe promote a bit more overtaking. Oh, nine tails with a massive slide uh, through there. And then we will be flat coming down the hill. We have actually got quite a nice lead over Ninetales for the moment. Means we will go into the tunnel with possibly only... Oh, uh, no, they're all gaining because they've got massive amounts of slipstream. Uh, got to be close enough, though. This is the tunnel. This is the dangerous bit. Where like I said, too wide can work, but you've really got to give each other plenty. You've got to be very aware of all the cars around you, uh, essentially. And then we've got this... This corner here can actually be quite tricky, the next part. Oh and that part, because the cars like to spin on the bumps through there. I got big oversteer both times. And then we head around final corner. Don't try and cut the curb to the left anymore, because there's barriers in the way to stop you running into the bike racks, because everybody does. Or, I say everyone. Lots of people have done. And that is a lap around the re reimagined city circuit. So yeah, the sort of chicane sort of the twisty section after the bridge, that is the bit that has been slightly rejigged. Uh, from last time I remember driving it. Uh, we're going to just enjoy having the lead for it, because it's not going to last, right? They are fighting each other quite a lot over second, which is helping me. The more they fight, the more they slow each other down. The, you know, they're not actually catching me that quick, but slipstream catch-up is going to be effective. This time around, I would imagine coming down the, uh, the motorway section... They're going to be close. Ninetales slides off into the wall through there. Uh, it's This is quite a slidey car, uh, shall we say. It, especially on curbs, you can really upset the vehicle. You can really get it into trouble. And, yeah, you've got to be aware of that when pushing hard. So, yeah, it was here that Ninetales got big oversteer last lap around. We get a little bit of oversteer. Ninetales got a little bit of a twitch, but uh, not enough to really cause any problems. They're having a look. Don't even need to do a pass there, because we know the pass is going to happen down here. But that's okay. I'm not too fussed about that. We will give space. We will let Ninetales go. Ninetales either lifted or didn't want to get the pass done just yet. That sh they should have got... Well, either that or Slipstream just died before they could complete the pass, but I suspect they lifted um, on that one. Either way, we are out the other side, and we have now lost the lead. Ninetales will... I'll run over the curbs. Don't want to run over that curb too hard. That's why. <laughs> and there is the reason why you don't want to hit the curbs too hard through there. Those trees have claimed many a victim in the past. And that's another one. Ninetales got very, very lucky. Normally those trees will ruin your day a lot more. Now the catch-ups brought a whole bunch of cars back towards the front. And uh, it is Joe that takes the lead of the race. We're going to maybe go around the outside of the grass. Uh, oh, oh, well, they haven't got on the brakes. I think we would have spun hyper, so that's uh, 
Oh god, and now Hyper's all over. Well, Hyper was trying to get out of the draft and again got the back end moving around, so we were not able to really make the most of anything. Brazen has caught up. Then we've got Liam, and I'm not even sure who else is in that group. Maybe Salmon. Uh, it is. Level 8's there as well. So it's looking like we're going to have a busier time. There is a oh, little bit of contact between some cars. There was a gap in the middle for us to, you know, make the most of, which we have done. We're now to the inside of... Oh, got the inside of Hyper. Section's still a little bit... It's, I mean, it's not a bad section to drive. It's twisty. It's difficult to pass around a section that twisty. Uh, so we're not likely to really get much in the way of overtakes done. Uh, Amy's having a look for the lead and has made that one work. I don't know if I want to get a pass done down here. Yep, let's go three wide. There's no way this is going to go badly wrong at all in any way, shape or form. No one's really got much slipstream occurring. I certainly haven't. I've had to back out of this one. Brazen will probably run out of draft at some point. And there we go. Everyone has been sensible. We've all made it through the tunnel. It's going to get busier, though, and the more cars that join the group, the more dangerous it gets. And the closer we get to the end, the less likely cars are to lift or to be as as giving with space. Oh, my turn to hit the curb and get a bit unsettled. Not too much, though. As we round the final corner, we get a huge slipstream pull from a long way back. Why could this not have been the final lap of the race? It would have been fantastic. It's not, but, you know, <laughs> can we do that again in a couple of laps' time? Who knows? We'll definitely try, though. Hello, Apollo. If you come to be distracto, dog. But do not headbutt the controller. Last thing I need is you pressing... Well, you would have headbutted the brake trigger. Uh, it wouldn't have been the worst thing possible, but it also wouldn't have been a good thing. Uh, thank you for... Um, not headbutting the trigger. I don't know where it's gone. I think it's gone... Oh, dear. Yeah, we're a little bit sideways, although more cars were having trouble slowing down on the outside. Uh, it's that, that hairpin can cause chaos. You end up carrying a lot of speed because of slipstream into a very, very tight corner, big braking zone there. And it's slightly downhill, so it really does catch some vehicles out. We've got a lot of speed, a lot of momentum here. We're quite, we might be able to pull a pass off if we... Oh, if we're clever about this. Amy's having a look to the inside. <laughs> no, there's no space to make that one work. We will, we're will. better off just falling back for a moment. Didn't get oversteer, thankfully, over the curbs. Amy's got a better run. Joe's now to the inside. That's okay, because we'll have a whoa, quite good run through there. Uh, we Well, we went sideways. We got straightened up. All is good. All is fine. Here comes the massive slipstream all the way down here. Still got a lot of momentum going on. We are going to go either side of Joe, and we make it work. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, we're fine. We made it out of the tunnel, at least. I don't even know. Someone tagged Hyper, but I don't know who. And to be honest, there was probably a chain of cars involved in that. All it takes is one to be struggling to stop. And with so many cars so close together, it's going to be oh, yeah, one bump after the other. We've again got a great run through that final corner. And it is a good slingshot for us to the lead. Again, we lead across the line. No, my luck, I'm going to lead across the line every lap but the important one. There is, uh, yeah, a very good chance. Very good chance of that. Try the one. The wide line, I think, works if you're on your own because you don't get airborne across the grass. The problem is, if you're with other cars, racing with other cars, someone else is going to go across the grass and they tend to slow you bloody down. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not having much luck making that wider line work. Liam is having a look for the lead of the race. Don't think it's going to quite work up the hill. Uh, Liam too slow on the exit of that corner. Uh, we can cheese it with a little bit of slipstream and a little bit of curb boost. We will take that lead away from Brazen. And we've actually made a nice little gap at the moment. Uh, we should lead... We'll lead through the twisty section. Unlike, as I said, you're unlikely to pass that much going through here. It's so slow. And you're on the inside for one corner. You're on the outside for the next one. And that next corner happens almost immediately. So, yeah, well, there has been a crash further back. There was, I think, in a level 8 car, but something. Uh, a turquoise uh, colour car was uh, facing the wrong way. Oh, there goes Brazen with the slipstream. Not the biggest slingshot, though, for the yellow car. Kind of got alongside and then stalled out. We will try. We're going to try and be sneaky and get some slipstream off of Amy. Here goes. Nine tails. Oh, 
I was really worried. I knew Ninetales was going to the outside of me. I was really worried. I think it was a Joe, no, a Salmon, that was going to try to go to the inside because I was going to move to give Ninetales space, but it was going to be very difficult if Salmon put the nose alongside as well. Thankfully, oh, I think Salmon realised we were about to go three wide and backed out of it. Brazen does well, actually, to avoid uh, trouble at that corner. And we are, once again, quick coming out of the final corner. <laughs> I mean, it's perfect. I've just got to do that again. That's <laughs> right. We're on the final lap of the race. Can I keep doing the same manoeuvre coming out of that final corner? Nine tails leads. Hyper's involved in the fight. Uh, I have run in way too fast into turn. Whoa. Number two, whatever. There's like, way too much speed. We got away with it, recovered it, but did not want to be doing that. Um, yeah, just overshot. However, we have sorted ourselves out. We are back in. Uh, we're back in a good. We're back in a good position. We're in good contention for this. We've been around this sort of position every lap so far. Uh, it's been actually been a really good race. I've enjoyed these cars. They've been oversteery, but not. They've been controllable oversteery. They've not been ridiculous oversteery. Uh, so they've been fun enough cars to drive. Uh, we're going to wait. I say we're going to wait. We're, we'll lead out of here like we did last lap around. We know we're going to get past very, very soon. Uh, in fact, Hyper is going for the almost immediately as I say that approach to uh, overtaking. Uh, we always going to lose that down the straight anyway. Brazen will get the move done to the inside. Don't understeer off the circuit. It would be a funny way to go. However, I'm not sure <laughs> Brazen would agree with that. Right, there's going to be less less giving and more taking, I suspect, running in to the tunnel this time around. Liam is going to lead the way just. Everyone makes it through, though. Everybody from the lead group, at least, has made it through sensibly. Brazen is alongside having a look. We've got a good exit, but we are going to be on an actual bad line through here. We'll be such a tight line that we're going to get bounced sideways, which is not really what we want. Hyper and Brazen, I get bounced sideways through there as well. Hyper and Brazen are busy battling. Chris is looking to the inside. We've got a good run. No, oh, we got turned. <laughs> oh, that's did brazen in the end. That's disappointing. <laughs> uh, we were... Uh, I mean, we were trying to get across to the inside, but... Uh, I think there was just... I think there were cars bouncing around on... Uh, the On that bump through that corner, and it's just enough to unsettle the car. Ah, it was unlucky... Uh, it's not, not what we were looking for, but it's how it goes sometimes on that one. Yeah, right, Salmon, don't worry. It's, uh, I don't think there's much you could have done. There were so many cars going into that corner that uh, there was always going to be problems, and everything was bouncing over the uh, over the bumps, so there's not much you could really do about it uh, at that point. Everything was loaded up. It was just, yeah, tried it, and it didn't quite work at the end, sadly. Uh, Hyper takes victory. Chris is second. Ninetales is third. Head of Amy. Uh, and I didn't see the, the rest of the leader. But unfortunately, yeah, Brazen and Liam uh, also got uh, got spun as well on at the end of that. Which is, yeah, everyone was trying to uh, to make up what position they could. We were in a vaguely good position uh, for the run to the line. I don't know whether we would have been able to do it, but uh, there we go. Uh, Judd uh, Philby, thank you very much for the donation. Saying my mate bought his dream car last year, a DeLorean, but he admitted he only drives it from time to time. <laughs> I'll grab my coat. Oh. You know what? I'm not going to give you a boo for that one because I do quite like it, but it is very close. It's very close to being a boo-worthy joke. Uh, <laughs> it's fair. Chat may decide to give you a boo for that one, but I do quite like that one. So you get, you'll get a pass. You'll get a pass from me. You will get a pass from me. Apollo, what did you think? Apollo has currently shoved his head under his bed. I don't know why he shoved his head under his bed. I don't know whether... <laughs> I don't know what he's hidden under there. He's hidden something, I guess. Uh, God knows. Dogs are weird. Dogs are weird. Um, this can only go really badly. We're going to go the uh, Cara Cara 4x4. It's going to be... I mean, probably a bit too big for this circuit. The tunnel is likely to be dangerous. <laughs> that's that's what we're going for. Tunnel is the tunnel is going to be dangerous. Uh, but hey, the, you, everyone everyone witnessed uh, what the lead um, 
the lead group managed. So, you know, we can all make it through. Our, our crashes happened uh, on the final corner. We didn't even have any problems in the tunnel. Oh, Apollo has stopped hiding under the bed. He's now just... Apollo, there are two beds in here. Yes, I am talking to you. There are two beds in here for you. And you've decided to just have like, the tiniest corner of your head on one bed. You can use the beds, you know, you weirdo. Eve's not even here. I don't actually know where Eve is. I presume she's in the bedroom, my bedroom, on an actual big comfy bed. That's, that's where Cass is. Um, <laughs> uh, you are a strange dog, buddy. You are. Uh, I think we have got everybody uh, back connected. Right, you're going to behave now. No, I would. You, know, you would be welcome to come sit on my lap, but you fidget too much when the mic's in the way. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's got to find his bone again. Uh, it is quite funny. He is. Uh, I mean, he's not the biggest dog in the world, but he is a big dog who still thinks he's a puppy and is very happy to be a lap dog for half the day. Or at least he was. Has was this morning. Um, he was. He was a very chill dog this morning. A bit more hyper this afternoon, but you know that's what happens. Uh, <laughs> Okay, we have got this all set. We will get going. And we shall begin. A uh, common Gliska, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, Saying so, no Gliska win yet, but fastest lap this race. <laughs> oh, was it Gliska that got fastest lap? I actually um, noted. I didn't, didn't look at the, uh, the lap times on that previous one. Um, so far, who have, we had, who have we had win? We've had Amy win. We've had Hyper win. We've had Liam win, I think. Um I think so. Hello, Apollo. You just want some attention now, don't you? You're you're awake enough that uh, you decided you want you want some fuss, right? I'm afraid, buddy. I got to go drive now. Yeah, you can you can try and do the puppy eyes, but it won't work on me. Uh, <laughs> you've tried it too many times. You become immune to it eventually. Just about. Ah, uh, right. Race time. Let's hope. I mean, if we can have as good a race, if we can have as good a race as last time, just with a slightly better finish. That would be what we're going for here. Uh, we're going to try and get across to the inside because it's slightly safer. Oh uh, no, I'll take it back. It's not slightly safer. Hyper, <laughs> hyper with a lot of slipstream has made that work. Now these are probably going to be better over the grass than we saw from the Porsche. Sure, we very nearly got lent on into a tree. Thankfully, we didn't. We survived it. Gonna get a big slipstream run down here. Uh, vehicle on the inside, a hyper is never gonna be able to carry. Oh dear. Well, funnily enough, that didn't work as expected. Vehicle on the inside was not gonna make that corner, and they didn't. Although I don't know if they were pushed, but uh, yeah, that was never a line that was ever gonna work. We were very lucky. Um, oh, that's not a wall you want to get stuck on. Go. <laughs> Uh, it's been a slightly worse start. It could have been worse, sir, but it's not been. It's not. I say it could be worse. Sir. We're sat in sixth. It's, we were upside down in a wall at one point, but we've recovered fairly well. Oh, hey, that's fine. We are. Oh God! For some reason, I got. No, there are two grey cars. I got confused with where they are. So, <laughs> uh, slight error from me, but we're close enough that we're going to basically be in the slipstream of the lead group running down here. Uh, Lado is, was leading the way, now it's Joe that has the lead of the race. It will be us in a second. There are vehicles with big slipstream pulls coming from further back. We are alongside Chris. There is, thankfully, we're going to get into that section side by side and no one else is going to be able to get involved uh, through there. Hyper is around and will not quite make a pass work. We're going to go four wide into the penultimate section. Not oh, five white. Lado, <laughs> Lado puts it to the inside. These are less likely to spin on the bumps, uh, which is helpful. Uh, there's less oversteer from, from these vehicles. Lado will round the final corner with the lead of the race, but we'll probably have a poor run through all of that. We have a great run. Chris has nowhere to go. Can't do anything but push us forward. Uh, pink car will get that done. Oh, the start finish line does close up. So you can fit more wide down the down the road than you can through the start finish gantry. We get slightly tagged by Lado and Carl. Well, we get away without being spun. We've kind of lent on small man for a bit, and it all worked out in the end. Uh, it's, got, it's got manic, as you know, we sort of thought it would. It's got very crazy, but we are still in one piece. We've come out of all of this in sixth place. 
Uh, we're going to dive on the brakes and Lado's not stopping and somehow Lado not stopping has somehow ended up with me almost falling over. <laughs> I don't quite know how the transference of a crash happened there. <laughs> like, it was Lano slightly missing the brakes with a slipstream pull, and it just snowballed into me almost being rolled into a wall. <laughs> well, I was, I was I was crashed into a wall, I didn't quite fall over all the way, but, you know. Uh, <laughs> that was quite the, uh, the the transference of an accident there. Uh, but never mind. We come out into a... We know what's going to happen. Uh... There's going to be a mad slipstream run down this down the motorway, and it's going to be chaotic because this is a really with the Porsches, it was not this crowded, and these are bigger. Oh, got a little bit of lag going on. That's not going to be helpful. Yeah, these are much bigger, just physically vehicles. So this lot trying to fit into the tunnel is going to be a problem. Although the slipstream does seem to. Oh, sorry, level eight. I actually was moving out of the way, but I actually think level eight might be going for a bump draft rather than a slipstream pass there. Uh, which, I mean, kind of works for, for me. We are going to go whee, sensibly into the tunnel and not sensibly out of the tunnel. Well, there's only a minor bump and shunt going on. Nothing too bad, all things considered. Looks like Glisk is about to take the lead of the race. Uh, we are... We've recovered quite nicely, all things considered. I would not be on the outside of me through there when I was understeering. and wouldn't have been a little bit of bother myself. But uh, there we have it. Okay, we've got a great run down here. So you can come from absolutely miles back on this track and sneak it up. Oh, oh <laughs> it's Longbow. That, see, that was the transfers of Crash that unfortunately went to Longbow that time around. Uh, yeah, it does, it does happen. Oh, by the looks of it, though, we will be able to uh, be able to rejoin the fight fairly quickly. Oh, we're still on the inside. Not a great line through there. A little bit bumpy over the curbs. Now, we can carry momentum, but three wide in the hairpin is a terrible idea. Oh, yeah, probably going go to the outside of a three wide into the hairpin is, is dangerous. And it ended up actually not being too bad as far as we didn't all crash. I just lost a lot of time. To be on the outside of that is, is not really where you want to be. Didn't think Amy was going to have enough sort of a slipstream to make that pass to the inside, which is why I went to go the long way around, Chris, but yeah, didn't quite work how I had hoped. Oh, there's one having a look to the inside of us. I uh, haven't got past Gliska there. I did not expect another vehicle to think there was a big enough, there wasn't really a big enough gap either. Um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> now I'm going to go back to being three wide. Chris is across the nose, uh, but gets away with it. He's far enough ahead. Uh, we will make sure don't pay me to a building. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> Oh, I mean, those walls can be problematic. We've seen it happen before. Uh, no, see, I want to go get some slipstream, but I can't move across too much because more vehicles are turning up. I mean, it's not been too bad in that Gliska has recovered from visiting that wall uh, fairly nicely. It's two by two through the tunnel. It's going to be three wide on the exit. Oh, I don't need any help in that one. We're already having a crash. I didn't need a push. <laughs> Again, that's the slipstream going on. I don't even know if Joe wasn't pushed into that one, to be fair. You just can't. There's so many vehicles so close together, you can't tell for sure. Uh, we are to the inside, heading up to the final corner. But you know that these get a huge... It's a big run to the finish line, and we know these get a massive slipstream pull, which I have not got going on this lap around. Uh, oh! Well, we managed to almost murder a Lado. I did jump on the brakes the second I saw that one happening, and thankfully we didn't completely murder a ladder. It was only a small... It was attempted murder rather than murder, and that's better, right? That's that's how it works. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not even a ladder, sorry, it's a brazen. Uh, it was only a minor attempt at... Uh, I mean, it was, it was not even really an attempted murder, I guess. It was an attempted... I don't know, oh, God, I'm wondering why, why did the hairpin again. Uh, that's fine. All is good. We're not going to murder a yellow car, particularly. Uh, well, not intentionally, anyway. Can't guarantee it's not going to be involved in a crash. But, yeah, we don't want to be involved in, a, in an accident. At the end of the day, we are coming towards the end of the race. We have an accident now. It's very difficult to recover from. That's, I mean, I've got the speed, but that's not a section to be going three wide at. It's barely a section to be going two wide at, so three wide's going to end poorly. Uh... Lado is behind us, leading another gaggle of cars. Is that Longbow or Valetain in that group? Uh, it's Valetain. I don't know where, uh, if Longbow's... Oh, 
quite been able to uh, catch up. But you can see the size of the pack behind us, right? And the problem we're going to get is... We're going to get a great slipstream down here, right? It's going to put us into the lead, which is fantastic. They're all going to slipstream past us, but the fear, fear we have is that big group of vehicles are all going to be catching, because they're just going to be so, going so much faster. Uh, Liam oh, makes it work. There was a gap, and we're three wide in the tunnel just. Uh, just, well, I mean, I was pushed into the wall, but thankfully it was the solid. It was a solid wall. There was no, like, joins or anything. We survived a three wide into the tunnel. Remember what I said? It's a dumb idea. And it was. I mean, we got away with it, but it's really not a good idea to be trying trying to do that intentionally. Lado had some momentum and wanted to use it, and it... Yeah. <laughs> it, it worked that time out. Liam and Gliska are stalled out going side by side. Although I wouldn't be close enough anyway. Oh, that's such a terrifying sight to see behind you. <laughs> oh, good God. The final lap is about to go manic. Oh, well... Sorry to someone. I don't even know. I think it was Valtrek, maybe, that got spun off. Of, I got, we got bumped and bumped and yeah, it was it was the transference of crash ended up with Valtrek in trouble. Did that Gliska I saw in the lamppost? I think it was. I think Gliska ended up in the trees and lampposts on that uh, outside line. Oh, we're about to have an accident. Okay, it was a very minor one. We bumped Drake forward, but that was about it. Um, we are, oh, there's so many cars going up this hill. Go on, Liam. We pick Liam as our oh, as the vehicle. We're going to follow up here. Four wide, <laughs> heading onto the bridge. Oh, one of the pink cars is end up in the wall. Oh, we get away with that. Oh, Piper got out of the throttle at just the right time there. Uh, otherwise, we were done for at that point. There was just enough space for Caracaras to fit. But when I say that, and I, I mean it by an only just enough of uh, space for Caracaras to fit through there. Liam leads the way, but there is so many vehicles vying for this top spot. This is not the order we're going to be finishing in, I can tell you that much. Uh, we are all stacked up on the outside, nowhere to go here. Uh, we will just have to follow around. Amy is back with the group. It might have been Joe that uh, came off worse, I don't know. I've got nowhere to go. We'll try to push Liam forward. Uh, bump drafting, a very viable tactic with the Caracara. Uh, Longbow is all the way to the inside. Am I clear to get across? No, Chris is there. Uh, Chris is going to try and make it. Oh, Brazen! No, 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 that was on me. I, yeah. I panicked when I saw, I think it was Brazen turn up on the left. Now, Brazen went straight into the wall, but I didn't know that. I was trying to make space, knowing that there were, knowing the potential for there to be a Brazen on that one. And in trying to make space, I turned into Longbow slightly and ended up putting Longbow around and causing a lot of that mess. Which is, yeah, un very unfortunate. Not what I was going to go for there whatsoever. Uh, we are going to, however, sneak our way past. We will claim a victory. We sort of caused the roadblock that stopped anybody following us. Ah. Longbow still ended up fourth, actually, considering what went on. That's quite surprising. And Nightales has found a pit to drown their sorrows in. Um, Aaron will... Let's see where Aaron... Um, will end up. I mean, at the end of the day, what can I do on that one in as far as I'm trying to avoid a crash, right? I'm trying to avoid a brazen plowing into the outside wall. Uh, yeah, it's... The, I was hoping for the... Um, you know, where, where like, Lado sort of pinned me against the wall and that sort of works, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it was it was very much a case of um, if we stick stick where we were, I think we were going to cause a crash anyway. We were trying to give Brazen some space, we we're hoping that it would all work, and it didn't. <laughs> Basically, uh, which is unfortunate. However, yeah, ultimately, I don't. Th I think whatever we do there is it likely to be a, a, a problematic um, problematic one going on there. Yeah, <laughs> it's. Ah, uh, I mean, yeah, not quite how I want to win, but I will take a victory when, when, when you can get them. We were lucky that we. Well, I mean, hell, it could have been us that spun in the tunnel and blocked everything. It's just as likely it would have been us as it would have been longbow ping through and we get spun. <laughs> that's that's what goes on with those kind of crashes. Ah, uh, yeah. And uh, and there and there we go. Uh, we can blame Lado. We can always blame Lado. But that one that one there was not Lado's fault. I think Brazen had too much slipstream and couldn't back out of it in time and was heading towards a narrow gap and it was just no good options at that point. Um, 
yeah, this is always a dangerous one. It's always a dangerous one. Um, through the gates, thank you very much for the uh, donation. Uh, saying, beep, boop, we all were at Hong Kong. Uh, that's for Chris and his Carfax. <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to give you a boo for that one. That's far too good. Uh, <laughs> that's far too... It's terrible, but also brilliant at once. So, uh, yeah. That's, 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 yeah. That is an important Carfax for Chris. Uh, right there. I don't know what that weird glitchy thing was. It was just, uh, just a leaf. Just a leaf falling from the tree there. Um, but there we go. Bless you. Oh, well, that's a way to spawn some cars in. Good to see physics is behaving itself. The answer to that is uh, uh, not really. Not, not really. Oh, there's a bike gone past, and Apollo has woken up. Yes, I know the bike went past. Apollo is not a fan of well, say not a fan of motorbikes. He just hears the motorbikes and wants to go and say hello to them. I'm not really sure, um, but. Yeah. <laughs> he always pays attention to the... Doesn't care about cars. Doesn't care even about noisy cars, if noisy cars turn up. But uh, he always pays attention when bikes turn up, for whatever reason. Uh, right, I park my car in here. And it's good enough. We can just use the ramp car that is the... Um, I've forgotten the name of this. Devastate? That's the one. There we go. Um... Chris, thank you very much for the donation. Saying the chief designer of Colours at Rover for a while was a man called Martin Orange. <laughs> I mean, what a, what a name. With a name like that, you've got to be the designer of Colours. It's like when they had, was it someone Bowser was the head of Nintendo or whatever? Or important in Nintendo? I don't remember. Um, <laughs> but yeah, with a name like that, you have to, you have to be, you have to be a Nintendo or whatever. So yeah, this is a this is an excellent, um, an excellent name for uh, the head of color. I love that that's a job as well. <laughs> I could be head of colors. I mean, they would mostly be orange colors, but I could be head of colors. Why not? Uh, it sounds it's it's okay. It's it's a, like, we can make the joke. It sounds like an easy job. I bet it isn't, but it does sound like a really easy job. Um, uh, Drake, thank you very much. Oh dear. <laughs> well. Funnily enough, that's broken. Uh, Drake, thank you for the action. And what do you think smells worse, a GTA burp or a GTA fart? I mean, it's going to be a fart. I, like, and, and anything, and anything fart is going to be worse than anything burp, right? Burp don't really smell. Um, but farts, the yeah, it's going to be a fart. <laughs> I'm always going to vote the farts are going to smell worse. At uh, uh, you know, at the, at the end of the day. There's a lot of sirens going on, which means follow the sirens to find the car meet to fail race lobbies. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's just, yeah, all sorts of a mess going on. There's a rocket car. You know, there's the usual. Hey, Ninetales. I'm gonna, actually, what about getting in your car? You're going to have the wanted now. It's surprisingly, Ninetales doesn't. Oh, now they do. <laughs> oh, shall we load up a race? Let's go and find something to do, shall we? Oh, Nine Tails is going for the cure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure parking it in the fountain was really the way to go, but you know, why not? Why not? Uh, let's go and tackle a race. Ah, oh, shall we go here? This is a brazen circuit, but it's a sensible track. Um, we will go and run around. The uh, Pukakoi Circuit. It's a good track, this one. I mean, the real-life um, circuit is a pretty cool track. Sadly, is a no... Is, I don't know if they're racing it this year. I don't know if this year's the final year. It's going to be no more. It's going to be no more, one way or another, which is a shame, because it's a really cool track. Um, maybe not the best circuit in the world, but it is still a fun track. Um, so, yeah, it will be a shame to, uh, to lose it. Uh, and people who don't watch V8 Supercars outside of... Uh, yeah, outside of that, I suspect you probably won't say. I don't know what else it gets used for. I presume it must get run, must, might have been used for some other Australian motorsport. The only motorsport I can think of I've ever seen run here, of course, is V8 Supercars, but yeah. 
Uh, and our options are all sorts of options. Let's go and Ray. We'll go race tuna cars to start with. Why not? Why not? See how it goes. Uh, that should be fine. Oh, and Chris's game has crashed. We are off to a brilliant time. <laughs> oh. GTA is broken. Right. We'll try and send. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what um, GTA is up to. GTA is just doing its thing at the moment. It's behaving weirdly. We will see. But there's probably going to be some more crashes along the way. Um, well, yeah. The track is great. With 30 people, it's going to be curious. The chicanes are... going to be interesting, to say the least. Um, the, the chicanes are going to be... Again, going to have to be careful through them. I know, I, I say, I'm going to say this, and people aren't going to bloody listen, but, yeah, you're going to have to be careful. You're going to have to be patient going into the chicanes. You're not going to be able to overtake somebody every time. In fact, honestly, overtaking, overtaking into the chicanes is not actually where you want to be overtaken. Now, I know in real life, yes, but we're not in real life. Um, in, in GTA 5, your, your overtaking is often better to be done on the exits of corners. Follow a car through, sit in the slipstream, and then outrun it down the next straight is actually often the more intelligent way and easier way to get passes done. Uh, having a dive under brakes into the chicanes and so on can work, sure, but when you're going to be in a big pack of cars, it's not actually advisable. You, you are much better off being a little bit more patient. Uh, and I say that, sure, you know, we have all made mistakes. I've definitely made made plenty of mistakes when doing these. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, you are often better off waiting for the, for the exit of, uh, uh, of, of a corner because of the way GTA physics works, pretty much. Uh, um... We shall, we shall see what we can do around here. We're going to race, I don't know what we're going to race. I'm going to presume it'll be locked to something. <laughs> ah, and let us get started. Sounds, thank you very much for the donation. So might as well get it over with and might as well be me. You know what chat wants? The latest brazen track, the loop around the car park. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no. Um, oh dear. We might only do one go because it's going to get very frustrating very quickly. Uh, <laughs> so we probably will only run it briefly uh, with thirty because we don't th we well we don't think it's really going to be usable, but we can give it a try. Filming crew might be angry with me. Uh, Chris, thank you for the question. Saying the Suzuki Liana is actually an acronym. It stands for Life in a New Age. <laughs> Oh, that's a terrible, terrible name for a car. Um, but I did. I again, I did not know that. See, that is a car fact that uh, I did not know whatsoever. And <laughs> you know, that is the fun thing about useless car facts. Sometimes, well, well they are completely useless stuff that I never knew, and you know, never really needed to know. Uh, I've not thought about the Suzuki Liana for a long time. Not since Top Gear, pretty much. And that's probably the same for literally everybody in the world. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's not going to work. I was half expecting Ninetales to back out of that, although I guess up against the wall not much bad can happen. Well, I guess, actually, no. I take that back. A lot bad can happen when you're squished up against the wall. But, uh, uh, yeah, we all got away with it at the end of the day. That's the important bit. We're going to try and get a good run on the exit out of there. Oh. There is, I think is it Joe and Amy having a tussle for position. It is. Uh, we are. We've survived. This is the final corner at Perkeley where there have been some absolutely monstrous crashes over the years. Oh, sorry, Vesca. Okay, the must. Oi, hello. 
and back pointed the right way. Well, it kind of worked out all right. <laughs> That's less than ideal. Uh, yeah, the, these cars not quite so good with contact. They do seem to get a bit uh, tetchy. Whoop. <laughs> well, well, yeah. Apologies, apologies, Joe, on that one. You were on the outside of a, th of a th three wide. There, again, there are times when you might just be better off kind of backing out of some of them. Uh, we've got a good run down here. We'll pass Doyle and Liam. Maybe if we can pull up in time. Liam's going to cut back underneath, but I'm okay with that in terms of I hope we can get a good enough run on the exit and should retake the position. Especially if we can get into slipstream with the cars ahead, which we are desperately trying to. Liam is alongside and does not carry the same speed that we do, anywhere near as much speed as we do to run into the first corner. Brazen leads the way. It is so two by two almost through the chicane. Everyone sorted themselves out. Valentine's having a look on the outside. But, uh, there is not a huge amount of space there. We are slow on the exit, which is unfortunate. Um, although we do pick out some slipstream. Ooh. Down there, so it works, thankfully. For us to keep hold of the position, we'll run the curb, try and get any sort of momentum we can on Chris, which we don't quite get done. And this is what we saw from the track when we ran it uh, for for the video, in that this is not an easy place to pass a car on. Uh, you've got to be a lot more patient around here than with a normal circuit in some ways. Oh, Chris, I'm not even quite sure how Chris spun, but Chris has spun. We give Brazen the bump needed to get up to second by the looks of it. Valentine's turned up with a lot of speed, but is on a sketchy line around turn one. It's going to be too wide into the chicane. Oh, too wide for us as well. Oh, we're all stacked up through there, Lado, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, and Level 8's done a big wheelie off of the anti-corner extending. Uh, oh, the darting bots are here. Crap, I'm not on a long enough straight <laughs> to deal with them. Uh, there's a fact there's no there's no long straights. There's no long straights to deal with the darting bots. God damn it. There's only a small darting bot. It's not the most egregious one we've come across. Uh, we will deal with it. So I might be able to deal with it down the start finish straight. Here we go. We are trying to Oh, I'm sorry if I crash into anybody. Uh, there we go. That worked. That has done the job. Uh, oh. Right. Into the slipstream we go, and we will try and chase down. So yeah, we know passing is difficult around here, especially when there's a big group of cars. Oh, a little bit of lag from a couple of vehicles up front, which is less than ideal. Lara with a big slide, you really don't want to run those uh, curves. They are just sketchy, essentially. Longbow with a good run, although we, we get a good run, however, get stuck with nowhere to go. It is going to be side by side through the chicane for us. Not really what we were looking for. Uh, we will try and get that curb boosty exit. It should keep us ahead of level 8 at least, which it does. Everyone is stacking up into the hairpin down here. Uh, Amy, Gliska, Brazen all leading the way. They're almost four wide. Level 8 with a good exit is going to get past. I was trying to get some curb boost and just none of it really wanted to work for me. Uh, we've got a good run. Oh through this final corner. Is there going to be a gap for an orange car through the middle? There is. Puts us up to fourth. Uh, there's a little tap on the brakes through there. We might be able to pass Amy into the chicane. Oh, Lado's got very sideways. Amy's unlucky. We're still getting hung out to dry a little bit there. We're stuck in the middle. Oh, purple car's fallen over. Uh, <laughs> gonna guess that round wide. Oh, level eight bounced off the inside wall. Oh, that's not what you need at all. Oh, Labo is lagging about a smidge. That's a bit sketchy. That's there's always nerve-wracking trying to pass a car that's lagging around because you're never quite sure where they're going to be. Uh, and of course, with so many vehicles about, it's really difficult to get passes complete because uh, you're just never going to be sure exactly where they are. Gliska not quite have the speed out there that we were hoping for. Uh oh. Okay, Gliska, go back in a straight line. Okay, let's just survive. Everything is... <laughs> well, we managed to kind of straighten up Biscuit's car and stop him from spinning. Wasn't ideal, and the transference of crash kind of went on. It's a new fail race theory uh, we're working on. The, uh, <laughs> the transference of a crash 
Uh, that one went through pretty much the entire pack, but we did manage to stop a massive accident from happening, so that's something. Uh, we are into the braking zone. I'm going to be out wide here. That's fine. You know what? I shall make that work with a whole load of speed. Lado's also got a bunch of speed to the inside. Uh, we will try our best with a good exit here. We should be able to get back up to third, and we do. Uh, right, Brazen has an absolutely massive lead, and I don't know what we can do about it at the moment. Catch-up is not as effective around here as some other tracks. It's not the least effective it's ever been, but it is not as effective as some others. Hyper is back into the fight after we saw them upside down uh, earlier on. They've recovered fairly well. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if we're not stupid, we can potentially catch Brazen. But that does rely on us not being stupid. Oh, and something had a very funky spin back there. We are to the inside, and we will make that pass stick. Uh, all right, dip the wheels over the edge. Try our very best to uh, make some speed up. Longboat is to the outside at the hairpin. Not too fussed about that. So, oh, I should have shut the door. I thought Longbow was still going to be there, so I didn't move across fully, but we did actually have space to do that. We could have moved across onto the curb. Uh, it would have been okay. would have been safe to do. would have spun out anyone. Uh, bugger. But never mind. Never mind. Lado is up to second. Valentine's having a look. We're going to go following Hyper. Three wide through the chicane. Valentine does back out of that in the end. We are now to the outside. We know the dangers of being out there, but we make it work. Get the slipstream off of Lado. It is working for us down here. We've got a great slingshot all the way up into second place. We can just get the car turned in in front of Amy, but are we close enough to Brazen? I don't think we are. I think Brazen's got this unless we all, unless Brazen fumbles it. I don't see how we can make this work. This time Amy is far enough alongside. They will get the run on the exit there. We have pulled clear of the rest of the group at least. If we can time this, it looks like we might be on for second place as we run up over the hill. We will make a run towards the finish line. It's going to be second for us. Brazen gets it. Good driving from Brazen. Managed to escape away from the pack at the right time and we just couldn't catch. Um, we tried. We tried very much. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> couldn't do it. Brazen will take victory. We will get second. Uh, Amy will get on the podium. Lado ends up fourth. Gliska fifth ahead of Hyper, Liam, Longbow, Valentine, and Joe will round out the top ten. In fact, it was very, very close between Longbow, Valentine, Joe, and Chris. Uh, level eight gets fastest lap of the race. Uh, <laughs> yes, Brazen. Brazen throws lemons at children. I mean, I, that, to be honest, that doesn't even surprise me at this point. Um... <laughs> Brazen, I definitely think Brazen throws lemons at children. I also love that Brazen's like YouTube thing is the terrifying lemon face. <laughs> oh, god dear. It was a good race, actually. I, I enjoyed that one. It was, uh, it was a little bit sketchy in a couple of places, but on the most part, um, we had to have some, have some good racing. Uh, at Squirtler, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, so I suggest a GTA race at, at the track called On The Go. Uh, three laps with traffic and wanted levels on. Weapons free. I don't think I have that one. I don't even, I don't recognise that as a name of one I've ever driven, to be honest. I might have. I might have just forgotten about it. Pretty sure I don't have it saved, though. Unfortunately, um, we can have traffic on some races that we do have saved. Not quite sure what ones, but possibly. Um, Mr. Sumo, thank you for these actions, saying the UK's awesome Ford Capri was marketed and sold in the USA as the Mercury Capri. I did know that one, actually. I did know that some Fords, because then they have um, one of the Mercury race cars. Wasn't that based on a uh, an Escort, I want to say? I can't remember now. Um, but, uh, yes, some of the, some of the sort of European Fords did make it over there at, as as Mercury's. It was, I mean, I guess the whole, like, naming thing is, uh, um, 
it's always a little bit odd keeping track of everything. It gets very confusing uh, when when car manufacturers end up end up doing these. Um, I'm actually surprised. I'm surprised. I can't imagine they sold many of the Capris over there. I don't know. English cars didn't traditionally do great in the states, but uh, yeah, uh, shady. Brady, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, I hear Transform races can accept 30 people now. Oh, crap, we are starting, and I didn't even realise it was doing a countdown. Why does it always automatically change? I don't want it to ever auto-start. I was reading donations. I was doing important things. Oh, it's the Sierra, yes. It was the Sierra that was the Merca uh, thing. I remember now. It wasn't an Escort. Um... But yeah, there are some, there are some cool some cool things like that that uh, that made their way over there. Um, thankfully, chat knows more stuff than me. Uh, <laughs> uh, Chris, thank you for the donation. I say, on the base model Range Rover uh, Valor, the manual seat adjuster roller is from a 1988 Ford Granada. <laughs> of course, it is. Well, isn't it like the Lamborghini Diablo... What is it? The Lamborghini Diablo lights are from a 300ZX? There's, there's quite a lot of instances of that. It does surprise me that uh, the Land Rover has that. Um, also, yeah, it was Shady Brady was us saying, I hear Transform races can accept 30 people now. Do you have any saved? Uh, I don't know if we have any... Oh, that's more oversteery than the Dominator we just drove. Uh, I don't know if any of the traditional fail race nonsense has been updated to have 30 people yet. I'm not sure. There might be some uh, saved somewhere around the place, but uh, oh, that's let go through there. Uh, I'm not sure if many have been um, many have been updated as of yet, mostly because they get forgotten about. Uh, I'm glad Transform Races have been allowed to have 30 people, because it's kind of always been a shame I don't know why uh, they weren't to begin with, but yeah. Uh, it is cool that we are now, now allowed to do that, but I don't know if many of the wacky ones that we have have actually been uh, updated as of yet. But uh, they may well make an appearance at some point in the future. We are going to chuck it into turn one. Not going to... Oh, I mean, we had the momentum. We had, we had speed. We just didn't have the space, essentially, to... Uh, to, to make that one work. Brazen did get oversteer mid-corner, but there was not enough outside to uh, actually get to. We will chuck the car to the inside there. We will make it work. There's a little bump, but that's not that's fine. That uh, does, it doesn't really upset these guys. These are more oversteer than I was expecting from the race cars. Considering the classic, essentially, Mustang boss had quite a lot of grip, these are sliding around a fair bit. Uh, Brazen is... Oh, going to go through the middle of three wides, we will continue to battle our way to the start-finish line. I mean, I'm okay with this. I think we're going to come out of this with the lead. Uh, so, useful information for the final lap. It did look like Brazen's car was just climbing over somebody, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, we will run... Oh, through the chicane. Ninetales gets airborne. Oh, and we have ended up out wide, sideways, and lost all of our momentum. Well, Ninetales did the aerial over... Well, not physically over our car, but uh, yeah, definitely got the pass while in the air. <laughs> We've got Longbow to the inside. Oh, I tried to hold on through there. Maybe should have just fallen into line. Might have been the smarter move to do. Uh, D-Turbo, thank you very much uh, for the super chat, by the way. This is uh, much appreciated. I struggled to get my car slowed down at that point, which was not ideal for us. Right, let's sort ourselves out. Let's not do anything stupid. Let's... Uh, well, hopefully, behave. We can all... S I mean, I'm happy to sit in... Well, we, I'd, I'd be happier if I was in the slipstream of Longbow, to be honest. It's not really catching the cars ahead at the moment. All turned in. Back in still doesn't want to grip. Back in still refusing to grip. Uh, sorry, Chris. There was really no good way out of that for me. Uh, we, we went into turn one a bit too fast. And the problem was... Couldn't, I couldn't slow it down, and there was nothing I could do once we were st sort of wandering out wide. We were always going to be on a bad line through there. Uh, hopefully, we can just gather our thoughts and catch back up to this lead group. We have been slightly dropped in all of our fighting. Uh, what we want to do, we want to get this pass done here on Chris if we can. No, nope, spin the wheels up. And that no, doesn't work. Crap. Okay, never mind. 
There is still time for us, especially if we can get some draft coming up towards the start-finish line. If we can time this right... Uh, well, I mean, actually, pushing Chris forward isn't the worst thing. Oh, and there has been a bump, and there has been a spin. Uh, did not see... Oh, I think I think level 8 is waiting. Oh, and looks like Ninetales hit a solid thing, and the car just stopped dead. So, Longbow, Longbow has got the lead. Can me and Chris... Can me and Chris work together to hunt down Longbow? Possibly. We've got a couple of laps to do it in. Longbow is out wide, but we're happy to go over there. You drop the wheel over the curb, you get a nice little curb boost down there. Chris is going to try that inside line that I tried, and it works better. My yeah, better attempt. Oh, I ended up running out far too wide through there. Uh, we are clear of Crane, which is what we really needed to do. Chris is up with Longbow, but they're going to stall out. They're going to run out of slipstream uh, battling like that, so I might be able to stand a chance into the first corner of all of this. Uh, there is oh, some pirouettes on the outside. Chris fires it around the outside of turn one. We are going to go side by side all the way through this next section, and we come out the other side with the lead of the race, but this is an only for now. <laughs> Chris will get past. We know there's going to be a chance that a slipstream runs the line. We just don't know how big a chance. We know it's not likely to be as powerful here as some other circuits. We've got clear and longbow. We are stuck on the outside line through here. Now, this time I'm not going to go as wide as we did previous lap. Chris slides, hits the wall. Longbow's right there now, uh, having a look, trying to get alongside. The problem for me is I've got boxed in a little bit here. I've got no slipstream unless it suddenly kicks in at a useful moment. Longbow sliding, Longbow hits the wall. And we are trying desperately to climb back into the circuit. Oh, that's so unlucky. That's so unlucky. God oh, damn it. So Longbow slid. Bounce or slid up into Chris which bounced Longbow off the wall, and unfortunately, I, because you're flat out through that final corner, there's just no grip left for me to change direction at that point. Like, you're just, <laughs> there's nothing you can do. You are just going, yeah, you ask it, you're on the maximum of what that car can do. And unfortunately for me, yeah, <laughs> could not avoid that crash. Which, yeah. <sighs> there we go. That is the way. That is the way that it goes sometimes. But Chris takes victory. It was another really good race. Chris takes victory. Level 8 ends up in second. Salmon gets on the podium in third. And a nine tails longbow. Uh, Liam gets fastest lap. Gliska is seventh. I end up in eighth. Could be worse. But uh, yeah, no, not great. <laughs> Joe is ninth. And Amy will round out the top ten in that one. Um... God damn it! God damn it! Ah, I thought we had a we had a we had a good run through that final corner as well, which I think we had a chance. If there hadn't been a shunt, but uh, that's that's how it goes. Uh, an old lady, thank you very much for the donation. They're saying if I've done my maths right, the return of the sixty nine cult. Indeed, indeed, you did the maths correct. You we have managed to get sixty nine, sixty nine. Impressive work. Impressive work. Uh, the Cult of 69 is very much alive, apparently. Um, so, yeah, we will see how long <laughs> how long that ends up lasting. Because uh, there'll always be somebody that uh, wants to uh, remove it from there. Ah, oh, and we are... Over here? Sure, I guess. Oh, it's a it's a sky track, so um, I guess we could be built over this part of the map, and I wouldn't really know. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily remember. And there's everything spawning in. Ah, well, we have had a sensible race. We have had plenty of silly races uh, along the way. Are you? Oh, I wonder if it was a mugger running. No, I think we've just caused some chaos going on. Um, 
<laughs> the lemon has been murdered. Don't really need to do a game of. We don't even need, really need to do the who's done it. Whoop! Well, that didn't do what you thought it was going to do, did it? It didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Oh, crap. That has a person in it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did not think. I did not think. Um, the rocket. Okay, well, that wasn't quite as smooth as the rocket car. I'm not going to lie. Um, it was smooth. Smoother than I expected. Oh, that was less smooth. Ow, face. And other bodily parts. <laughs> Definitely been hurting that. Oh, Drake. Thank you very much for the donations. And Cult of 1P forms alliance with Cult of 70. Uh, fight on, brothers. Well, you've been already slightly defeated. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, there we go, this is just a mess occurring. Chris, thank you for the donation. So the first generation Mondeo has exactly 271 interior models and spent over 67 million pounds developing them all until eventually settling on design number one. <laughs> that sounds... That's one of those things that just doesn't surprise me. Like, it sounds like such a big... Like a big company nonsense is when they spend millions and millions of pounds to decide the first thing they did was the one they wanted anyway. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye, cars. That very near he took my head off. Yeah, that, that is just the most... That is just the most big company trying to make a decision thing I've ever heard. So, <laughs> so there we go. Uh, Rob, thank you for the addition, saying, well, I know what I need to do. Uh... <laughs> You have got the cult of 69 back onto the uh, onto the donation bar uh, there. I, 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 you know what? I feel like this is a good place. I feel like this is a relatively safe place. And I generally agree with that. Is that an AI in the Hummer? I think it is. I think an AI Hummer has just freaked out and managed to crash over all of that. That is honestly quite impressive. That has come a long way from the road. <laughs> and Night Owls is trying their best to hit me with a Bentley. Uh, oh, you're not a mugger. I, for a, I, just, I just saw people running around and I just assumed they were a mugger. Hey, Night Owls. There's a lot of explosions currently going on. A lot of explosions are currently going on. I'm going back in the safety hole. <laughs> it's so far it's been nine tails proof, which is generally. Oh, sorry, press the wrong button. That is a mugger. <laughs> Damn it! Safety hole is less safe now. We're on fire. Ah. Well. Aaron, I think Aaron was supposed to shoot the police and ended up shooting Ninetales. <laughs> oh, I mean, this is just what happens. This is just what happens all the time when anyone stays hanging around. Uh, we're going to go the close eyes and see where we end up heading approach. Oh, not there, though. I've pressed the wrong button. Um, well, we have been chucked around. All right, if we can not kill me while I'm trying to select a track... That would be that would be good. Uh, <laughs> uh, Elaine, thank you very much for the uh, super chat, uh, saying great channel, uh, very entertaining. Well, I'm glad I'm glad to hear it, indeed. Uh, I mean, at the moment it's just gone suitably stupid. Oh no, no, let's not go there. <laughs> oh, let's go to chafed buttocks. Um, sure, <laughs> it's a terrible name, but it's actually quite a good chat. We're not going to go to dodge some turbines yet today. Um, uh, it's a calm, peaceful stream without the refs. I, you know, even 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 without the refs, it's far from calm. <laughs> imagine the chaos. Imagine the chaos if the was here. Um, imagine the chaos that would go on if. Uh, oh, didn't want to do that. Um, what I meant to do was 
to do that all from last job and I think all from current session because I don't know if the game's really keeping track of people properly so pff, it's not the easiest um, everything is locked so we will I guess we'll drive off-road cars sure let's do it we'll see what happens we will we will see what happens. Um, H2G2, thank you very much for the donation. Saying there once was a cult for a famous vice, a rotationally sy symmetric numerical device. If you see someone fine, ask them for 60 time. I still think that's supposed to be nine. Uh, and they'll know you are terribly nice. <laughs> that is, the first time someone's managed to make a limerick, I, there was a lot of long, complicated words in there. Uh, that is the first time someone has managed to make a limerick about 69. So well done. <laughs> well done indeed. That is uh, that, that, that is limerick of the day so far. Um, that is that is a, a, hell, a hell of a limerick. Well done on that one. Um, uh, yes, it is, it is absolutely rigged. Uh, that is entirely because no one wants to drive around the turbine circuit. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, so I should clear out some of those tracks for uh, uh, for for that stuff. Uh, Ethan, thank you very much uh, indeed for a uh, for a generous donation indeed. Saying all the nines, this will inevitably go wrong. No, you've actually timed it. You actually timed it right this time. Normally you get screwed, but um, you have actually managed to time it right this time. I uh, hope you're doing well, Alex. I finally got back to uh, catching the streams regularly now that I'm not travelling around Scotland. Ah, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your travels. And all that, Scotland is uh, a very nice place to uh, to go and visit and, and drive around. I've been there a few times. Uh, so, yeah, I hope, hope you had a good time. Uh, welcome back to the madness that is GTA. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's being the usual silly day. Um, you, you know, that we get with these. We're going to have some chafe, but I don't even remember what track this is. I think it's one of the rally circuits, which is why off-road is probably one of the options. Um, let's find out. Let's find out what we might see. I think we're going to have like the trophy trucks here. Hello, Apollo. How are you doing, buddy? Uh, you are more awake this evening. Ah, oh, we do. Okay. Well, I will drive my Desert Raid truck. We shall prepare for some form of chaos. I don't quite know what form, but probably lots. I mean, it's going to be wider than some of the tracks that we've been driving today, right? Polo, what are you doing, you weirdo? Oh, you're trying to hide your bone under your bed. You've done a terrible job. All you've successfully done is put your bone on your bed, and then you, that's not quite how... Um, you are the worst at hiding stuff, Apollo. If you put the bone on your bed and then headbutt the bone, that's not hiding it. That's not how you bury your... No, oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm not even gonna... Not even gonna question it. Um, uh, dog will do... I, I do know this circuit. I didn't think that... I didn't think this circuit was... called that, but... Uh, I obviously am misremembering. Might even be... Oh, I don't know. Don't remember. Uh, there we go. Lado, thank you very much for the donation as well. Uh, Saying, so if you don't crash on this race, I'll, I'll crash into you. Well, I mean, I'm almost... Um, oh, guaranteed to crash. Well, there we go. See? I got it out of the way because I was busy reading your donation. <laughs> oh! No! Ah, we're having problems. Okay, well, now Lado is not allowed to crash into us, right? We crashed on our own. So... Yeah. Now, now we are safe from a Lado crashing into us. And Joe's had an accident. Uh, Joe's had a very big accident. Uh, oh, we're going to go a little bit sideways. We're going to go a lot exploring. That's fine. I'm in a trophy truck, right? We can get away with this. Uh, oh, there's some speed to be had through there. I'm not quite sure if... Uh, was the best way through that section, but we have made it work. Oh, there's a, oh, there is a narrow part coming up. Yeah, this is 
this bit. This bit's horrible. If you get it wrong, you get stuck on that sort of entry gate area. Ah, and that's asking for trouble. Thankfully, it happens towards the end of the first lap, so the field is normally a little bit spread out at least. We are, you know, a bit more spread out than we could be. Oh, Amy's had a very big accident. <laughs> Amy had an argument with a rock. And it is safe to say the rock very much won said argument uh, there. It could have gone worse, but uh, yeah. Apollo, buddy, can you stop? Whoa. Jeez. Sorry, Ninetales. Uh, I turned around for a second because Apollo's being a. Apollo, you're such a dumbass. Apparently, just headbutting the bed. Yes, I am talking to you, dog. You've not. Why were you headbutting the bed? You're carrying your bone. How are, what are you trying to do? If you want to put the bone somewhere, that's fine, but you do have to put it down. No one's going to steal the bone. No one cares about it except for you. You should know this by now. Uh, <laughs> Alright, now you going to go back to chewing it. Of course you are. Uh, <laughs> oh, silly dog. Silly dog. Uh, oh, that's going to be finding a railing. We do not We do not want that. Yeah, the, the power of Distracto Dog is quite high. Distracto Dog's a... a well, funnily enough, very distracting. I don't know if Distracto Dog is better or worse than Distracto Cats. I'm honestly not sure. There's been another accident over the ramp? Uh, maybe not. They just look like it from a distance. Uh, we have truck behind. Oh, Nine Tails. Surprisingly, did back out of that one. I wasn't expecting to get that pass to stick. I was expecting to uh, end up just losing a bit of time on the outside and falling in behind Nine Tails. However, uh, Nine Tails did decide uh, to fall in line. I guess they'll go for some slipstream, maybe. I mean, we're like, as we said before, oh, Amy's had an accident with something else over there. Uh, Visca's having a wait. I don't know quite what's gone on back there, unless Visca was involved with Amy's crash, possibly? I don't know. Uh, weird things have gone on through all of this. I mean, we've come out of this lap surprisingly better off than I was expected uh, to. We, we had. Yeah, but well, it was a terrible start. However, we are back in the fray. Nine Tails is with us. Chris has had a falling over in front of us. Oh dear, that's gone very bad. That was very cinematic as well. Holy crap. <laughs> that was all of the cinematic uh, right there. Chris falling over, tumbling down the road directly in front of us as we are having to weave and dodge out of the way. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's fine. I'm fine with that. We've got we've got away with it. There have been a few tumbling. I mean, I'm, I I know we're going to end up falling over as well at some point. Like it's just almost a guarantee at this point. We are going to fall over. Yeah, it's that fair race guarantee. Good racing. Massive crashes. A, a suitable amount of chaos and the inevitable moment where I fall over. Uh, it just happens. It it just it does regularly occur. Uh, right. Let's, we know. Don't you dare slide about truck. Uh, I am the only desert ray. Oh, actually, don't I say that. Well, there's a ray in the top three, technically speaking, but there are two of us here. Nine Tails has got one of the uh, trophy trucks. I am um, to the outside again for the hairpin. Not going to make much work there. And now, though, well, we're not going to make it work on the way and We do get a great exit, but can't quite get past in all of this. Try and duck underneath, which we do not make work. That's fine. Uh, all is good. We're back past the pink truck. We are. Oh god! No, oh, that's a that's a not not a place you want to respawn, Sam. That's very unfortunate. Thank you though for diving out of the way. That's a, yeah, really unfortunate timing to end up in front of us, but did get out of the way before getting out of goes road, which is fantastic. Uh, Liam is going to be a little bit slow over that jump. Unfortunately, yeah, we kind of, we're catching in all the wrong places. I've just got nowhere to go with any of the speed that we have here. We are going to be stuck side by side through there. Hype has got to be careful they don't fall over doing that. Nine Tails has turned up. It's going to be busy heading on to the final lap of the race. It's four wide across the line in all of this. Oh, that is actually a helpful bump from someone. Oh, we've got a cheat. Oh, we were so close to ending up in in oh in trouble. Hey, that we were saved, and then we were not saved. 
<laughs> don't think there's much Salmon could have really done on that one. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate the way I, I don't think you could have done anything there. We were bouncing around between the other vehicles, and you were just unluckily the one that collected me. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, we got tipped up on the side, and then in trying to, to gather that, we were just really slow in that section. So, yeah. Ah. Damn it. It's another final lap. Unfortunate. Uh, unfortunate moment. I mean, we slipped to eight. There's a chance we can improve. This track, though, is surprisingly not the easiest to overtake on. Um, slipstream. Because you, you're on the dirt, right? Catch ups are a lot less effective. Because vehicles' top speed is just generally slower. Uh, we were trying to get to the inside of Nine Tails there, and it did not work. We ended up just wobbling around all over the place, which is less than helpful. Uh, we want to try and follow Ninetales past Chris if we can here. If there is a gap to the inside. Oh, no. Ah, oh, <laughs> sorry, Ninetales. We apparently just like crashing into Ninetales today. I was trying... Uh, yeah, I was trying to be sneaky. I, mean, I don't think we were going to be winning this race either way. The goal was simple. Unfortunately, the goal did not quite work as we were hoping for. Basically, oh, and Amy, Amy has murdered us. Amy. How could you do such a thing? Oh, dear. <laughs> oh. oh, the final lap has just gone really poorly for us here. I mean, I was alongside. <laughs> there just needs to be a bit of space. Oh. Yeah, final lap has has fallen apart for us. A shame. It was, it was shaping up to be a good race on that one. And, yeah. Well, I mean, we, we tried to be a little bit sneaky. The first crash was uh, absolutely our fault. We tried to follow Ninetales through. I think Ninetales got maybe got a bit oversteer, or Ninetales was just slightly slower than I expected. And we tried to be sneaky and um, follow and, and just carry speed where we could. And unfortunately, it did not quite work as uh, <laughs> as we expected. And it's got other 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 tangled tangled messes. Uh, <laughs> Oh, level 8. Uh, Glitzka takes victory. Level 8 gets fastest lap of the race. Liam is second ahead of Hyper. Uh, Ninetales ends up fourth. Ninetales actually does quite good at recovery, considering. Um, but yeah. God damn it. <laughs> oh, race well. I mean, if we'd been one lap shorter, we would still end up third. But uh, yeah. Uh, Hyper is, is saying the important messages. It's for, sorry, I should point out, right? Uh, Hyper saying Joe is stinky was a message that was held for review. Yes, that that uh, all the crap that YouTube lets through, but saying Joe is stinky apparently was something that YouTube had to hold for review. That's uh, <laughs> some 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 wonderful level of of YouTube auto filter, and it lets the darting bots through. God damn it! Um, Haha, <laughs> we shall see this time we are paying attention. The darting bot has been bopped immediately. Uh, <laughs> uh. Gotta love Gotta love YouTube sometimes. As I say that any website like that has problems, but uh, <laughs> uh. Uh, Common Gliska, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, uh, woohoo! <laughs> Indeed, Gliska did take a victory. Let's tie that time out. Uh, let's carry sports cars around here. Uh, we'll stick with four laps. They're quite long laps around here. Uh, so, four laps seems. Oh, they're quite. Sl it's not the longest lap we do, but it's quite slow laps around here. Uh, so, yeah, we'll stick with four. We'll stick with four. It means we'll get through the race. Uh, in decent time. Um, I think the sports selection is going to be like the... Oh, don't do GT Aries. It's going to be whatever the Audi Quattro is, the Stratos. I've forgotten the names of them now. <laughs> um, I, think those, I think those are sport category and not sport classic. Uh, I think the Comet Safari is the sport classic one from what I remember. Could be wrong, though. Uh, Chris, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying the run-out version of the Renault 4 uh, was a special edition called the Bye-Bye. <laughs> oh, I like it. 
I want a Rano 4 Bye Bye Edition. That sounds, to be fair, there's probably I mean, quite 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 a fun way to go with it. You know, probably quite rare. I mean, probably not worth anything because it's still a Renault 4 at the end of the day, but I can't imagine they made many of them. Oh, there are some crazy special edition vehicles, some very silly named ones. Wasn't there like a Schumacher, like Fiat Stilo or something? Um, yeah, there have been some, some very, very bad. Oh, what was that? Oh, there was a... And now I think I was just thinking of Formula One or, like, racing-themed ones because they're the first ones that spring to mind. But wasn't there a Rover 25 that was, like, a Brabham? Something or other. I can't remember what it was called. It was a Rover 25 that was green with, like, the orange grill bit. It was terrible. Um, absolutely terrible thing. But, yeah, there have been some many... Many weird and wonderful special editions uh, over the <laughs> oh, over the years. Um, oh, Ro uh, Rover Twenty Five BRM. That sounds about right. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why anyone would ever want a special edition Rover Twenty Five is beyond me. The only reason I could think of wanting a Rover Twenty Five is it was uh, so much cheaper than anything else. Uh, and even then, that's not a great reason. Uh, but, you know. Either way, time to go racing with some Quattros. We... Oh, Quattro-like cars. Uh, we survived Turn 1. Chris also did survive Turn 1. I don't know what was going on the inside there. We just kind of shot through and were hoping for the best. Gliska made the most of the start, managing to uh, carry momentum around the outside of all of us. Oh, I'm having a little bit of a wonky line through there. That is not what we need, although we will be able to defend through the next part. Chris is not going to be able to find, or anyone is going to be able to, not going to, be able to find a way past there. Uh, we can carry speed up here, but I do not want to run wide. You see, the trophy truck was okay. You can climb that railing. This will not. If we end up out wide, you are going to be in trouble. Oh, I don't know if the bushes are going to ruin your day. Um, hoping. I don't think they are. From what I remember when driving this circuit before, the bushes don't really grab these cars and don't really uh, twist them around too much. Well, the cam when the camera did that, made me worry that Chris was about to try an aerial overtake. Thankfully, did not try such a thing. No, he's battling away with Brazen, but that, I mean, that's fine by me. They can, they can have their own fight. Because we'll focus on trying to catch up to Gliska and look for a way past. I think this slipstream and catch up is a lot less effective on the dirt. Uh, it does seem as soon as we get on the dirt, we don't really gain that much. Ooh, Gliska all sideways and crossed up going down here. Uh, we are in you know, a terrible line through there. It's just too tight to the apex. It carry no speed. Uh, it's less than ideal. My hope is ooh, not to do that. Oh, not what we needed to do at all. God damn it. I'm just not doing... Oh, dear. we get a wheelie from Ninetales. Thank you. That was very helpful. Uh, just not having a good lap, this one. Oh, all of the driving skill has evaporated. Oh, Brazen had an accident, and we had to dodge said accident. Uh, God damn it. I did not realise Chris was sneaking past on the outside, and I was waiting for you. I... <laughs> Yeah, that was one of those, like, we tangled, we didn't really know the car was there. We were just trying to go through a gap, but we did also end up running into the side of it and put it round. Didn't take much. Ah, yeah, that was us trying to be a little bit clever. Didn't quite work, sadly. The difficulty is always is trying to spin the car. Like, you're trying to drive the car and, and make these decisions and whatnot, and trying to do that all while spinning the camera around is nearly impossible. So sometimes you just have to guess where a car is and hope that there isn't one in the line you want to be taking. Oh, and we got lag murdered by a Chris. <laughs> well, that is also not helping our race. Very wide through there, although we might survive with fifth as Hyper gets bounced around. Um, right. There's a big gaggle of cars back here. We are all... Well, oh, Valentine's had a big accident on the railing. It's all neat enough back here. The issue is if we start fighting too hard, 
we are going to struggle to catch the leaders. And Liam, if I can get in the slipstream of Liam, I might be able to get away from the big group of cars. If not, uh, Liam might pull away and catch the leaders, and I might be stuck fighting the big group of cars. We'll have to wait and see. Liam got launched airborne through there. I was trying to be neater, and that was the approach to take. We have caught up to the back of the grey machine as we head through the satellite dishes. It's just with this big group. Uh, the leaders are actually quite spread out. That's not what we need. The ne we need the leaders to all be together. That's the goal. <laughs> we want them all to be together, because then that means they are most likely to slow each other down. As it stands, they're not really compromising each other in terms of lap time yet. Hopefully they will. Certainly aren't yet. We are at least neater through there than we have been previous times around. Two laps to go. Can we catch those leaders? We send it to the inside at turn one. It's a clean enough pass. I mean, Liam won't mind too much about that. The goal is catch the leaders, so if you don't lose too much time being overtaken, you don't really care because you'll get slipstream next time around and, in theory, repass them. As if you're fighting for position too hard, that's when you start really losing time. We are definitely catching. So it's Gliska versus Brazen. Ninetales has just fallen back a smidge. We're going to lose out to Liam because we wandered a little bit wide. We might gain the place back from Liam, who wanders wide on the next corner, uh, which we indeed... Uh, do puts us back into fourth place. Try and keep the car nice and controlled through these transitions. And it's not easy. The cars don't really well. You're going over bumps. You're going from surface to surface. It's yeah, not the easiest of thing in the world to keep the cars all composed. Uh, not that fussed about having a dive here. We will be happy to sit and wait. Hyper's going to look to the inside. Won't matter. We'll not get the speed down there. We have some slipstream. Polo, you behave yourself over there, silly dog. You're back to headbutting a bone into a different bed this time. What do you expect headbutting the bone to do, exactly? Um, I don't know. I don't know what his grand scheme is. But these headbutting a bed. Well, nose butting the bed, I guess, technically speaking. The leaders are back to all fighting each other three wide, and that is what we did want. Okay, that's great news for us. The more they fight each other like that, the easier it's going to be for us to catch up because they just lose a lot more time. And indeed, we are basically at the fight now. We have got uh, Ninetales, Gliska, Brazen, me. Liam is here. Uh, Lado is here. Oh, Ninetales is very slow on the exit there. Um, I think Ninetales guessed that wooden post was going to be solid. Not a bad guess, considering. Uh, oh, and it's all gone horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, back there. Unfortunately, I think it's Ninetales, despite being in the lead group the entire race, that bore the brunt of that. Uh, we have Lado and Hyper behind. And it was just one of those unfortunate chain reactions, and Ninetales ended up wide and slowed, and I couldn't slow down in time. And once that crash started, it just kept going through the whole pack. Again, it's that whole transference of crash thing that we've been seeing uh, that, I, well, that I've decided to give a name to this time. We've seen it a million races we've done, but uh, yeah, we have given it a name this time. Uh, right. Brazen is leading the way from Glasgow. We've got Lado and Hyper behind. I think the pack behind has broken up a little bit, which does make life easier. Oh! Glasgow and Brazen got... I was busy looking behind. I don't know what, what happened in that one. And, well, that makes one less car to try and overtake, but it does now make this the lead battle. Notice there is a car on a mountain to our left. We try to get the pass to work, and it does briefly, but Gliska gets the cutback and retakes the lead of the race. Now, there is not a big slipstream run to the line potential here. It's doable, but it's not a big long straight like we often see. The trick is going to be neat through here. Get as close as we can without making any mistakes. Uh, we're a little bit slow on the way into this section. And we're a little bit wide through there. Now, it's not the worst thing in the world. If we if we are a little further back, we might get Slipstream in a good position to make a move count somewhere. Uh, the move, I think, is going to have to be made. If we can get a pass done here, it's then going to be a massive tussle to the finish line. Gliska will be on the outside for the next quarter. Oh, they can't do it. They can't do it. They fell into line, and I don't know if you're going to have enough time to get a slipstream pass to the line. Not quite. 
We will claim victory. Gliska takes second. Oh. Oh, a tough battle. That was a hell of a tough battle for that one. Lamo gets on the podium in third. Brazen is unlucky. Ends up down in 11th, having been in that lead fight. Brazen and Nine Tails are both so unlucky at the end there, having been in the lead fight for a while. I think I saw Nine Tails' car on top of a mountain. I think it was Nine Tails's anyway. Um, oh no, there's Nine Tails. <laughs> yeah. Oh, level 8 gets fastest lap of the race again. It's another fastest lap, and the only one in the 58, I think, as well, around there. Uh, <sighs> yeah, good fun track. A good fun track. Um, it was a good race as well in, in that. It's a little bit unlucky for a couple of cars. Um, yeah, we, we found the... Uh, right place to overtake Gliska, and yeah, as I said, it's such a short run to the line, and to be fair to Gliska, there was nothing more they could have done, right? If if they defended the inside, and I just went around the outside of them, if they hadn't, I would have just chucked it up the inside, I would have done exactly the same, you know, I would have just gone past there, because we, we had so much speed at that point that wherever they went, there was going to be a way for us to get past. We were always going to find a way to make that overtake stick, so, or there, there was a good chance at making one of those lines work. Uh, so, yeah, there's not much that could have been done. And then we could just defend through the final couple of quarters. Without mo with, without multiple cars around, when it's just a 1v1 like that, you, it's difficult to defend that when I was that close. Uh, basically, I like had a perfect range to get enough slipstream to put me alongside and to get a pass done um, without putting, having so much slipstream that I get sort of a big slingshot and end up mile out in front. So, yeah. Um, uh, there we go. There we go. Uh, Christian Sweden, thank you very much for the donation. Saying several Koenigsegg name, uh, models has names that means something in Sweden. Uh, Regera equals uh, rain slash rule. Uh, Agera equals axe. Uh, Gimera or Gimera uh, equals uh, give more. Well, they, I did not know that. I did not know that. Um... I mean, it makes sense. Isn't it like the Lamborghinis are named after like famous fighting bulls or something? I don't, know if they, I don't think they still are, but I think quite a lot of them were, like Merchelago and Diablo and all of that stuff. Uh, Kuntash, I think. Um, when I, there's, there, are some, there are some cool things. There are some cool uh, uh, sort of like vehicle naming schemes that go on. Definitely, definitely uh, the Koenigsegg name's much cooler than the Suzuki whatever it was. I've forgotten the silly whatever Liana meant. Uh, <laughs> where's it gone? Uh, the Suzuki... Oh, I can't find it. It's wandered off my page. Uh, where has it wandered? Oh, there we go. The Suzuki live in a new age. <laughs> like, the Koenigsegg Rain would still work as a great name. Um, I guess the Koenigsegg give more less great as a name, but still better than the Suzuki one. Uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, there are some there are some some cool vehicle names out there, some interesting ones uh, hanging around. Uh, let us go. We're going to drive. If I still have it saved, the Angry Blakey. Um, I don't know if I still have it saved or not. I don't know if I deleted it. Uh, the Angry Blakey. Uh, what was this one? Actually, the Angry Blakey isn't a too bad of a circuit. I don't think. Um, I could be wrong. <laughs> could be wrong. <laughs> oh, no, I remember this one. <laughs> nope, I remember what this one is. Oh, okay, I take it back. I take it back. I do remember what this one is. It will be quite bad, but we will only have like one race around here owing to the fact that we can't have multiple cars. Uh, right, while we get everyone connected, I'm just going to go and grab a drink quickly. Uh, so bear with. Apollo, you're in charge of the stream. Stop licking the floor. You're in charge of the stream. Back in a second.
Ah, well, I am back, and it does appear the stream is still working, so... <laughs> Apollo hasn't broken anything, which is, uh... Which is good. Well done, dog. You have, you have done us proud. Uh, FIA Lado, thank you very much for the donation. Saying so for turning up in orange paint, FIA have decided that the following races, uh, Casino Royale shall start at the back on the next race. <laughs> you know what? Sure, I'll go to the back of the race. Why not? Why not? We will, we will, we will go to the back and what could possibly go wrong with that? Here, of all races. A lot! <laughs> A lot. Apollo's back to trying to bury the bone. The thing is, right, I would put, I would hide the bone under the bed for him, but if I, the second I hide it under the bed, I've done this before, the second I hide it under the bed for him, he immediately picks it up and then wanders off with it and then isn't happy about it being buried. Uh, I'm just, he's just currently rearranging my office. Uh, <laughs> fantastic. Well, not my... Uh, hold on. Apollo! Come on. What are you doing? Oh, he, is, he is unhappy with how stuff is going. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Right. Shall we begin? Shall we begin? What could go wrong? Other than everything, basically. I mean... Okay, so going to the back of the going to the back of the field isn't going to be great. Running away at the front is what you want to do here. However, one thing that I might be able to do is we will fall to the back, but what that will mean is we'll let the crash, the inevitable crash, happen, and hopefully we can avoid the inevitable crash. Ooh. So we'll fall back, but hopefully we can. Be hopefully we can be a bit sneaky with it. Ah, uh, oh, Chris, thank you for the donation. I was saying it's common knowledge that the XJ220 used lights from a Rover 200. However, uh, River, I presume that's supposed to be Rover. Uh, Rover charged Jaguar for the face lift lifted lights when in reality all the lights were from either scrapped Rover 200s or mechanically faulty ones. <laughs> Oh, I, I mean, it just, it, it does sound like a very supercar thing of, yeah, we'll, we'll get some lights from some faulty Rover 200s, what could go wrong? I mean, the chaos of trucks has happened. It is the ballet of the ramp truck. Right, we are going to do the only thing we really can. <laughs> Sorry, Crane. <laughs> uh, oh, and we missed the checkpoint. Anyway, I think. How on earth did I miss? I didn't even... Well, I mean, our race is our race is basically up. How did I miss that checkpoint? Oh, did I jump too far to the inside while I was trying to avoid the chaos and didn't notice? I'm just watching it back on the stream. Yeah, okay. I, oh, damn it. We were, we actually had a really clever idea, and we executed it pretty well, but cut too far to the inside. Oh, and that was the end of that. I mean, the thing is, though, we're still ahead of Chris. Is that Lado? I mean, you know what's happening the second we can get close enough. <laughs> if, if there could have been, if I was close enough, I would not have braked for that corner in the slightest, and we would have. See, why am I saying I shouldn't say too much because Lado is watching the stream, and Lado will hear what's going on, possibly. Okay, well, never mind. Lado's launched themselves anyway, so all is fine. <laughs> Lado knew what was about to happen as well. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. Uh, hey, Drake. I don't even quite know how the physics happened there, but never mind. Uh, <laughs> Lado tried to brake check us. Lado, do not try and brake check a ramp truck. I mean, we probably deserve that from Gliska. Uh, <laughs> yeah, brake checking a ramp truck, not the cleverest idea. Really, in the grand scheme of things, because it turns out well they ramp stuff, and yeah, that one didn't go so so great. Unfortunately, the tangle with Lado did uh, get us in trouble with Gliska that time around. We are 24th. Can we get a top 10? That is the goal. I think it's unlikely, 
I'm also very acutely aware that a certain yellow truck will probably not be so happy uh, <laughs> to, uh, to, to work together. You know, normally we like to work together with vehicles around us. In the, you know, when we fall so far back, it's like, I don't want to have a fight with you. I want to work together to pull ourselves forward. But I have a feeling Lado's not going to be wanting to do that somehow. <laughs> Oh, and this is why you don't get engaged in grudge matches, because it doesn't really help anybody at the end of the day. I guess the audience finds it funny is probably the best that we can that we can go for. Um, yeah. Please be out of range of a Lado Torpedo. Oh, crap. We're not out of range. The Lado Torpedo is on its way. Uh, oh, there's been a mess of trucks here. I mean, if we can just carve our way through, which we have. Oh, uh, yes, yes, that's what we needed to do. We absolutely carved our way perfectly through that. We are out of range of everything. Uh, <laughs> well, that's actually done a pretty good job of making it through that as well. Uh, this is also the race where I use the handbrake the most, I think, out of any race um, outside of Dirt Rally 2, because uh, it really does help get these big trucks through the very tight hairpins. Please don't get hit here. If we can avoid getting hit here, I think we can. Oh, there's so many trucks flying everywhere. Uh, we are making some good progress towards this top 10 goal. Sorry, pink truck. I don't even know who you are. I apologize. It was a light boop, an unintentional light boop. Uh, oh, dear. We somehow didn't fall over. Oh, and Lado saved us. Oh, well, Lado is, Lado is being cut. I don't think it was an intentional save. However, we were saved by Lado. We will no longer boop the yellow truck. The uh, It is the end of... I say we'll no longer boop the yellow truck as we immediately boop the yellow truck. That was not an intentional boop, and now we've been spun slightly. Uh, that was a missed breaking point boop rather than an actual intentional one. Whisker is going to go to the inside here. I can't really defend from that. There's still going to be chaos at the crossover points. Because uh, there's just so many trucks going around here. Oh, jeez. Hello. Uh, that was unfortunate. <laughs> I just got... That was... I, I mean, there was very little with what we could do in that. Uh, that that was very small amount of options. Oh, the darting bots are back. Um, go away, darting bots. Christ. Um... Slipstream. Like slipstream behind Pwn. Camera seems to have got close to the truck for reasons. Now, we're hoping there will be a big crash somewhere. The other thing we want to be careful with, of course, with these trucks is the, the nose is, well, quite long. And we've already seen how well they scoop stuff, so you have got to be careful you don't inadvertently scoop something while trying to slipstream. Uh, can we make this pass stick? No. Almost. Did not quite get that as far. I was a little bit of a sneaky uh, move on Pone in some ways. It was a little... A bit of a squeeze on that one. Um, in trying to get the trying to get the pass complete as sort of soon as possible. It was a little bit a uh, little bit mean. Uh, we, we made it work. It was it was done clearly. Just Pone was stuck on that really tight line. Which you can't really take much speed with. <sighs> right. Who is actually leading this race? Not seen. Small man, currently leading from Liam. Uh, wow, we somehow didn't have a crash with Lado at the crossover point as well, because Lado lifted uh, and was waiting. I oh, I was expecting you to not slow down. Sorry. <laughs> I kind of judged. Oh, we pinged off the inside wall there. I don't even, even think we hit that. I think we got hitboxed, unfortunately. Now I'm stuck in a, an awful place. Sorry, Valentine. Uh What side are you going? Okay, you didn't choose quick enough. <laughs> I do apologise. <laughs> oh, God damn it. This is, is A, not being my finest bit of sort of driving this race. Not had the luck. Like, combination of both has just not helped us here. I mean, missing the checkpoint at the start kind of summed up how things were going to go, I think, around here. It has sort of calmed down a bit uh, compared to how it started. Uh, oh, Aaron has had a problem at that one. Uh, it has it has slightly calmed down, although that's just because we're so spread out. The leaders are nearly a minute in front, and there are big gaps in the field. 
For us, I mean, it's a top ten remotely plausible. Our ladder's up to ninth, and we do see Lado at the crossover points. It might not be impossible, but in two laps, a lot of chaos is going to have to happen in a couple of laps for us to be able to do it. Lombo's had a spin in a weird place. That is an unusual place to have an accident. I mean, I'll take the position where I can get it, but it is an unusual one. So there is Lado. That's ninth. Barring some really big chaos moments, I do think it unlikely. But you never give up. You never give up with GTRA, especially not a race like this, because those chaos moments are definitely possible. Uh, <laughs> we're up to 14th already, so it's been a decent start to this one. Okay, tried to be a little bit cheeky there and cut the corner as close as I could. Doesn't matter too much if we hit the middle of the truck. It does sort of help turn the truck around. I think with the house spread out the field is, we're not actually seeing much action at the crossovers anymore. Uh, I'm not saying that there isn't going to be any, but it is definitely less um, crazy through them. We will be clear over here. Level 8 has taken the lead of the race. It's now just become a straight up how quickly can you drive a ramp truck. I mean, they're not the easiest things to drive. Uh, okay, we are... Oh, like there we see Shadow has had an accident. We are... I was busy looking at the leaderboard and looking at Shadow having a crash. I did not look at the crossover point, which is dangerous to be doing. Uh, now it really becomes... Well, me and Gliska are both pushing like crazy trying to get this top 10. And it's Zach that sits in 10th. And that is that blue truck... Uh, with that, there's, there's two trucks, there's a blue and a yellow truck. Uh, that's 10th and 11th that we are seeing, that we are closing in on. But of course, only one of us is going to be able to get a top 10. We're all trying to get it. Lado might have fallen back, not sure. Um, we will see. We will see what we can do. I don't even know how Matthew has managed to get into the wrong car at this point. Uh, so, <laughs> there we go. Lado's, I don't know why Lado has dropped back at the moment, but Lado has, has fallen back. There is going to be a mighty tussle for the podium spots in this one. Hey, Lado. <laughs> what are you up to? Is Lado up to some shenanigans? I fear, I fear the answer to that is yes. We will chuck our vehicle to the inside. I mean, we'll make places where we can. I fear we're going to get scooped at some point. Uh, no. The, uh, the nose of the truck is there, but all is fine. Can me and Gliska catch the vehicles ahead? That is the big question here. Lado is to the outside. Not really the place you want to be looking because it's you're just you're turning left for so long here. You don't really want to be going the long way around on this one. No incidents at the crossover section for us this time around. All is clear by the looks of it. We are not close enough to Gliska for some slipstream, which is a problem. Oh, oh, they've both hit the wall. Oh, there's been bigger crashes up ahead. We move up to ninth. Oh, we struggle to get it stopped, but we take ninth place away. They both clip the inside wall, both pushing that little bit harder. Liam has taken victory here in the ramp truck race. We are up to ninth. Gliska and uh, whoever it was, I'm not actually sure who was in the yellow truck. I didn't really see. Uh, both clipped the same wall. They then got involved with accidents at the crossover point. Um... We have snuck up into a ninth place. Lado is slipstreaming behind us. Lado is going to make a move to the outside at the final corner. Will it work is the question. Oh, God, you don't want to come across in front of a ramp truck. I think it will. I don't think I'm going to get slipstream in time to fight back. Uh, we cannot. Lado will do it. <laughs> we will push Lado across. It'd be really funny if, like, the nose code of my truck managed to poke ahead of Lado's vehicle as it was going sideways. I don't know where it counts the finishing line uh, <laughs> for the vehicle. Oh. Ducky gets fastest lap, actually, in fourth. So Liam takes victory from Small Man with Brazen in third. Ahead of Ducky Hyper, level eight. Zach, seventh. Crane is 8th, Lado takes ninth. I get the last spot on the podium, Sound is 11th, just outside the top 10, Gliska unlucky, 
in that one. Oh, it's Destiny as well. Unlucky. Both of those, both of them unlucky. Made the same mistake and just clipped that inside wall and then got hit at the crossover as well, which did not help matters. Oh. We got the top ten, though. We snuck our way into the top ten. We said it was po po plausible. We said it was possible. But, yeah. There we go. There we go. Well done, Liam, for taking a, a victory. Chris, thank you very much for the uh, donation. Uh, saying the Ford Cougar uh, is not as popular in uh, Serbia because the name translates to plague. Ford realised this and changed the name. However, the new name translated to <laughs> Motion of the Buttocks. <laughs> I don't know why you wouldn't want a Ford Motion of the Buttocks as your car. <laughs> Oh, I mean, the Ford Cougar wasn't exactly a good car to begin with, so it's not like the Serbians are missing out much on it. But still, you would think they would have... You would think they would have, like, a translator just to make sure they, that these things don't goof it. You would think they would. And apparently they don't, because that's, that's not the first time, and it probably won't be the last time that we hear about this sort of nonsense. But you've got to check, surely. Uh, it, it is a great fact. There's no doubt about it. A fantastic fact. I just don't know how this is car, um, how these car manufacturers don't don't look for this sort of stuff. Um, but there we go. Right, we shall be heading towards a special event to finish off. I mean, we're going to try some. Uh, so we have some special level 8 made uh, a map for us here. Oh, I'm not going to get on the train. We're going to be too slow. Run! Play a run! No, nope. unless there's an extra carriage at the end that we might... No, <laughs> it's so tantalizingly close. Apollo, why have you farted, you stinky dog? Apollo. God damn it. <laughs> Hello, Fartatron. That is you today. Actually, it's not you today. You haven't fired at all. You had to wait until I was streaming, didn't you? Till it's towards the end of the stream as well. I guess actually that's better than the start of the stream and have it the entire way through. Um, but there we go. Uh, sound, thank you for the uh, super chat. Saying in South America, the Ford Pinto means uh, Ford small manhood. Yep, that was another one of the famous examples uh, <laughs> that I was thinking of. Uh, yeah. There's quite a few. What? Oh, there was a few other ones. I can't remember any more anymore off the top of my head, but I do know there are uh, actually quite a few more in uh, uh, in the, I think, over the history, if you like. Right now, we have got to. Am I going to? I should be. Ah, I should be able to find it here. Right. So, level eight has very wonderfully gone and made some sumo arenas for us. A slight tweak, a slight rework, if you will, of the uh, of the sumo that we've done before. Now, it's made as a last team standing. It's quite silly uh, what we have here. Uh, they're going to be very quick rounds. This is not like sumo where it's a 20-minute slugfest by the end of it. These are quick rounds. Oh, we're going to do first to win two rounds. That's slightly disappointing. We also know how it works with about 8 to 10 people. But we don't know how it's going to work with a near full lobby. Um, so, yeah, it's, it, it might get a little sketchy. However, there is potential for it to be quite good fun. Now, the way it's going to work um, is, I believe this one is... Cause there's, there's two different arenas. This one, I think, is the one that has either an insurgent or a ramp car. So you're going to spawn in on a team. Uh, pick one of the vehicles from your team's selection. Uh, you can either use an insurgent or you can use a ramp car. The ramp car will launch the insurgent. If it's you know, if the front of the ramp car hits an insurgent, it launches the insurgent. If the insurgent hits the back or the right parts on the side of the ramp car, they'll push it around because the insurgent is stupidly strong. So make your choice. Pick your pick your weapon wisely, and then it'll be the last one on the arena will win. Now, if you fall off the arena, please jump out of your vehicle. Because otherwise, you're going to have to just wait for the timer to run out at the bottom. It's a waste of everyone's time. So, if you fall off the arena, jump out of your car, 
and just to make sure that you die, basically, so that the round can end and we can go on to the next one. Uh, we might do a couple of these because it is going to be very, very quick rounds. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh, so we really don't... So we we're not 100% sure how it's going to work with what, 25 people. Yeah, let's see. Let's let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Uh, we will go for noon so we can actually see what we're doing. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to drive. I mean, it will probably depend on what I end up st sort of start spawning near. Um, we'll see. What, and also, <laughs> I don't know what team I'm on. I, I, I can see we have Gliska on our team. That's about it. I don't know the rest of them. <laughs> and I don't know what anyone on that team is. Don't know who anyone on that team is. Don't know anyone on that team. I think that's Brazen. <laughs> I think I can see Brazen on that team. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> it's just how well can you recognize the uh, legs of various uh, filming crew members? Uh, oh, it has not got what I thought it had on it. Oh, we haven't got this with the ramp cars and the insurgents. No, this is the more normal sumo with actual cars. Um, that's not quite worked how I expected it to, but I guess we're here with these. Aaron's lost out on the... Oh, we have Ladder on our team. We have Aaron on our team. Uh, <laughs> uh, sure. Sure, okay. We'll go with this. We're going to try and put level 8 in the pit. Level 8, leave our Mupavur alone. We must protect the Mupavurs at all costs. Uh, they are the strongest, pretty much. Um, oh, <laughs> goodbye, orange car. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Alex. <laughs> oh, we nearly, su oh, we nearly survived on a platform. We did not. Damn it. Ooh. And that's the end of us. <laughs> See what I mean by very quick rounds? It was a great kill on the orange car. However, the uh, what was it? Fugitive got us. So we have okay. Well, we still have Lado, Aaron, Chris, Gliska, and Sound all still alive. Purple and pink have not had a great time. Red slash orange. The names don't match up with the colours, so that's going to be really confusing. Um, oh, yellow have had some friendly fire occur over there. That's not ideal. Longbow's car is smoking heavily. Uh, <laughs> oh, go on, go on, blue team. We can, we can make this work. Uh, Lotus skills. Uh, thank you very much for the uh, donation. Saying Mitsubishi released the Pajero, but in countries that speak Spanish, they named it uh, Mon Monterio, uh, Mon Montero, I guess. Pajero in Spanish is. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, yep. That's uh yeah, you don't want you don't want the car called that in Spanish. Um that's quite funny. Uh Chris is Sweden. Thank you for saying that Honda Jazz uh slash Honda Fit outside Europe was meant to be called uh, Honda Fitter. And they rapidly changed the name after being contacted by the Swedish office as Fitter is Swedish slang for female genitalia. Again, another one. Yeah, yeah, definitely uh don't want your car being called that. There is a mess going on at Yellow Base. By the way, I guess we can push some cars around. Old Mafia Dad is almost in trouble. Valentine is in trouble. They're gone. Um, that is going to be an orange car off the pla off the platform. Lado's going on a killing spree at the moment. Uh, Chris, thank you for the donation. I say last fact: the Grand Tour was almost called Nigel, on the basis that the show needed a name, and Nigel is a name. I mean, yeah, would have still probably done just as well had it been called Nigel. To be honest. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Lado's off. <laughs> oh, no. That Mupavur is down. We might be in trouble here, folks. Our team, because all we've got left is these two things. Uh, the Re Remus, is it? Um, Chris and Gliska are driving these, and there are a lot of yellow cars still alive. Uh, <laughs> a lot of yellow cars are still alive. Folks, you might want to work against yellow team. I'm just putting it out there. 
I know I am notorious for my whole sumo by diplomacy um, methods, but genuinely, no, Chris is gone. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I can't change. We should have to watch Chris's death because I can't change the camera. Um. Oh uh, well, there we go. Bye bye, Chris. <laughs> I mean, we're definitely not winning. The pink team that have the yellow cars have got a lot left, although I think they have lost some. Uh, uh, Rob, thank you for the donation. I say, I know you're playing sumo, but Hector is going to be running three Honda Civics uh, with spoon engines. And on top of that, he just went into Harry's and he ordered three T66 turbos with NOS and a Motec exhaust. And important information we all need to know at all times. We all, we all need to know uh, that information. Well, yellow team have lost a whole lot of their cars all of a sudden. Um, so I don't know what happened because we were too busy watching Chris die. Uh, so I don't know what occurred to take out a lot of yellow cars. But uh, many, many have, uh, many have died. Oh, brazen. <laughs> There's a lemon running around on the floor. A lemon forgot to jump out of the car, didn't it? <laughs> okay, well, we're down to three cars in the arena. It's nine tails. Uh, representing for, well, the yellow team, the colours will change, which is why this is going to get very confusing. Brazen's out. It's just three Muppavus that are left. We've got Ninetales, Doyle, and Ducky. They are the remaining vehicles. I think Ninetales is trying to goad people into the pits. Probably not the worst idea uh, in all of this. Well, it's certainly an idea. We've only got 45 seconds to go as well. That's the other thing about last team standing is uh, it will time out uh, if it goes on for too long. I'm actually surprised it's got to this sort of stage. Uh, oh, Ninetales, you're playing this one very risky. Yeah, it didn't really work. You did not quite get that timing right. Ninetales is gone. Doyle is going to be stuck on the wrong side of the platform. I don't think you're going to survive down here. Now, the question is... Yeah, you can't get out. So... Oh, that was a good hit from the orange car. You've got to try and just nudge. Oh, nudge enough. Uh-oh. I, I think the time is going to save Doyle, because Doyle is... F oh, stuck. <laughs> oh. The time has saved it as a draw. Uh, actually, no, they gave it to... Well, they gave it to Ducky's team, which I think is fair. I think they gave it to Ducky's team anyway. It, the, the score is a little bit janky, but we're going to say that they won that one. Uh, Eric, thank you very much for the uh, donation. I uh, say, so it was so cold here over the weekend, I thought my thermometer wanted to play uh, GT, GT, uh, GTA 5. It said 9F. Ooh, that's chilly. Uh, also, on the topic of funny car names, the Chevy Nova did not sell well in Spain as it translates to no-go. Uh, <laughs> That would, yeah, that that would not be the best thing to call a car, especially a car that I guess is supposed to be a bit performance based. <laughs> uh, yeah, not what you want. I have the up of it. I have the mighty heavyweight this time around. Um, well, I don't know why I'm attacking yellow team actually. Oh, it should be blue that we have got to be wary of, because uh, they were the winners from last time, I think, if I've remembered, if I've been keeping track. Uh oh, no, it was pink. Maybe. Uh, no, well, no, it wasn't pink, actually. Uh, no, you leave my Mustang friend alone. Uh, we can hopefully... Oh, Longbow is going to survive. Well, well, Longbow is being worn as a hat. Nine Tails has exploded in all of this. Uh, Valentine's gone. Mafia has gone. Oh, that's an orange vehicle. Hello. Don't mind me. Blue, I mean, just punted their own vehicle a mile. We're going to punt it off. It's gone. <laughs> I don't know who that was. <laughs> but whoever it was, we have killed. And Ducky, oh, you do not quite go off the platform. Uh, hey, don't mind me. That's fine. More things have exploded. Don't think any deaths followed. Oh, and a blue car bites the dust. Uh, more blue cars potentially biting the dust over here. Ooh. <laughs> that was... A some teamwork, unintentional teamwork between us and the pink vehicle. Uh, quite a lot of vehicles still going. That did not work how I hoped. Oh! 
I wanted to be. I, I was hoping that we were going to be one that launched them, but we didn't quite get the timing right. I'm going to have to go forward here. We're about to get in trouble. Uh, the yellow team's mup of uh, though didn't really manage to do all that much to us there. Uh, right, there's Brazen. Oh, <laughs> one of our cars just got launched. Uh, I hope you survived, whoever it was on my team. I'm not quite sure who it was, but I hope you did survive that one. He did not really do much to braze on there. Lado is no more. That's unfortunate uh, for us. Oh. Jeez. Well, we survived, thankfully, uh, in all of that. Uh, right. Oh, I was trying to goad a yellow car into doing something dumb. Sadly, it did not work, uh, but it was worth a try. Uh, we will hit that car about. Oh, hey, Gliska. Excuse me. Blue team, you're being sneaky over here. Uh, I say you're being sneaky. You are actually allowed on this part of the arena. We just haven't gone on here yet. Um, oh, I was going to try, and I was hoping... Oh, I was hoping to do something to Brazen's vehicle. We did not. Crane's fugitive gives us a bump, but doesn't do much either. We've still got three minutes remaining. There's a good number of vehicles have survived so far. I can see the pink team up of... Oh, I wanted to launch it off the roof, but it didn't work. Uh, we just got the timing wrong again on that one. Uh, oh! No, Brazen! No! <laughs> oh, nice. There was that long-range um, opportunity that we tried to take. Ah, we just missed, and the problem is I could not get on the brakes quick enough. Damn it. It was kind of worth a go. But, yeah. It's so annoying that we saved it, and then bra there just happened to be one person. There happened to be one person looking the right way at the right time to make sure that we uh, fell off. Ah, blast. It's not what we needed at all. Uh, <laughs> oh, well. You know, you win some, you lose some, and all that. Uh, <laughs> uh, Drake, thank you very much for the donation. So, in a uh, GTA stream, it was absurd. To be racing in a camper van herd, uh, Alex was coy, but Drake had some joy for getting his first ever winning third. Um, also, Culture 69 be gone! Uh, has been uh, sprayed. Bill to uh, Rob. <laughs> Bill, uh, the uh, Cult of 69 has been defeated for the moment. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, the camper fans were quite entertaining. I heard is by far and away the best um, way to sum those sum that up. It is by far and away the best, best uh, summing up of how the camper vans act. Uh, I mean, Gliska might be able to use the pipes to cause issues for Brazen. I don't really quite know how how things are going to go down here. I feel like this is less than ideal. Orange have lost all their Mupavers. Blue have... Oh, Longbow's in trouble. Longbow's had it. Longbow's gone. <laughs> Gliska might be in trouble here from Liam. No, not quite. Uh-oh, one of the orange cars is clinging onto the edge. Brazen is in a spot of bother. Uh, Drake's gone. <laughs> Drake's gone. Liam's has climbed over the pipe successfully. This has become a very weird battle. This weird push of war. Brazen has murdered everyone. Uh, Brazen is just dangerous with the Mup of uh, at this moment in time. Uh, and Gliska has climbed the pipes and got out of that one. Uh, Hyper. Hyper is now no more. This is I went to go. So I, I, so I thought we lost a car. And indeed it was. Hyper fell off. So, I mean, we really... It's... Blue cars that we need to kill, I think. Maybe. Timer ran out anyway. I don't know how it decides the winner. I think it might give it to a team. <laughs> I'm not even sure how it decided who has won that. It has decreed that the winner has been found. Uh <laughs> I'm not really sure. Are we going again? I think we are. <laughs> it's, oh, we're pink team today. The scoring makes this a bit difficult to keep track of. Um, 
But yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell. Right. We are... Gliska doesn't want a Muppet of her. I do want a Muppet of her. Uh, <laughs> Chris, no, this is not a good idea. No, Chris, Chris, out. <laughs> you don't want to be in this. We don't want two people going out in one go. I just wanted the Muppet of her because they push, um, push, push lots of stuff uh, around the place. Um, oh, Ooh. Joe has already killed Gliska. Well, that's not great for Pink Team. Salmon has fallen over. Come on, Salmon. We will spin you around. Oh, there is an orange car in a precarious place. Couldn't get it. Uh, right. I've got to remember. One of the difficulties with this is because you keep changing colours. It's remembered. I've now got to protect pink cars and not try and crash them off. Uh, which, yeah, my poor brain struggles to remember. Because uh, we were killing pink cars last time around. Orange cars, we definitely have to take out. Uh, there's an orange smoky Mupavert over here. Brazen has the orange team's Mupavert. We have found what was one of our exploded teammates. Hello, Ninetales. Oh, hello, Chris. <laughs> oh, Liam jumped over everyone. Lado's jumped over everyone. And a bump. No, bump's not really worked over there. Oh, Liam has Pitman over there. So gotta be a bit careful going towards the edge. Because while the Muppavers are very strong, they are a massive target. Everyone wants to kill a Muppaver. They're kind of very important in this. Uh, so, yeah, everyone wants to hit the Muppavers off if they can. Oh, and we are gone. Well, we're not gone, per se. Uh, is there a way out of this for us? Oh, Aaron is also gone. Kind of. Oh, dear. Hey, folks. I mean, this is not really the plan, but... Is there any way? I don't know. Actually, how is Aaron... Oh, Maffy is gone. No, Maffy is stuck. <laughs> uh, well, we can try and make sure they fall off. Okay, well, they've gone. Oh. Well, now we're just doing our own little mini game of sumo on the edge of the platform. Oh. Blue cart messed up slightly. There was a... I saw an opening. <laughs> we are now the guardian of the pit. Go on. Off you go. <laughs> off you go. <laughs> yeah. No one wants to come down to try and finish me off. Oh! <laughs> Blue car is gone. We might be next. <laughs> we are the guardian of the pit. It is our pit. Uh, well, I mean, we could go and get another car, but our base is the other side. Oh, Valentine, well, you've fallen yourself in here. And uh, Liam is going to finish you off. Oh, no. Right, can we? No, I've jumped the wrong way. No, get up, you fool. Wake up. Wake up. Nope, nope. No, oh, we are no longer guarding the pit. <laughs> oh... It didn't really work. Uh, I mean, we're not having a bad game for the rest of our team. Just, uh... <laughs> once we fell in the pit, we were in a bit of bother. Pretty much. And that was not what we were after. <laughs> uh, as I said, I mean, the Muppavas are very strong. However, they do get targeted quite heavily. Everyone wants to see them out. In fact, we might have killed most of them by this stage. Because they do just get targeted mercilessly. And, they, and as they should, at the end of the day, let's face it, as they should, they are the biggest threat by a long way. But enough cars team up on them. And they are... Lado, Lado, if you're going to do sneaky buggers, make sure I'm not looking at your screen. Uh, <laughs> I know what Lado's doing. But we're going to not mention it. Going to not mention it. Um, well, I'm pretty sure someone just got run over. Someone just pushed a yellow car in there. I mean, I'm not 100% sure what's gone on. I think, actually, our team may well win this by virtue of... Lado, that's your teammate! Lado! Lado, stop crashing into your teammate! They're on your team. <laughs> Lado's forgotten what team they're on. 
Yes, don't go for the pink car, for God's sake, Ladder. You're supposed to go to... Well, Aaron's stuck anyway. And Shadow's out. Aaron's in the pit. Aaron was stuck in the pit. I don't know if Aaron is still in the pit, but... Aaron is in the pit where I was at this fairly early on. Oh, Aaron's gone as well. I think we get a victory here. <laughs> we do! Victory is ours! Through some large amounts of luck, victory is ours. And we just played Pit Guardian for a while. Lado, your sneaky tactic has now been spotted. So there is that. Uh, Petrol Head, thank you very much for the uh, super chat. It was causing some chaos in GTA recently and there was some exploded cars in the road uh, when a psycho mule came along and hit the cars and did a front flip. They do, they sometimes just seem to lose all of their senses for reasons that no one will ever know. Uh, so sometimes that is the AI. They're just a bit wacky. Um, so yeah, it doesn't massively surprise me that they would do such a dumb thing. Uh, what do people want to drive? Well, I mean, I'll take a Mupava, I guess. No one actually seemed to really want a Mupava this time around, so we'll go for it. I don't... I mean, we are just going to be a target the whole time around, but we'll have a go with it. Um... Oh! That was a hell of a bump and a shunt around the place. Oh, I am worried about the missile pods. That is one way to kill a Mupava. Uh, is if you can... Yeah, if you can launch some missiles at it. Oh! Mafia. Ooh, it's not on our team. Glisker is on our team. Oh, there's a Lado. Don't hit a Lado. That would be bad. Uh, there is a Ninetales playing dangerously with a pit. Oh, not quite. <laughs> ah. Uh, we have been spun around, but that's not the worst thing. We're spun around in relative safety over there. Uh, there is a chase going on off to our... I mean, there's so many chases going on here. It's really difficult to keep track of everything that is occurring. Uh... Oh, I just wanted to kill a Mupava and both survived. Damn it. <laughs> we were actually pretty uh, crazy on that one. Early on in the game, we were just flat out not going to break for that uh, turning. And it was the hope that we were going to hit something. Unfortunately, it just didn't ping off the way we were looking for. Uh, oh, we've lost a yellow team cart. Just saw it go. I don't know who it was, but it pinged off. Uh, that was Chris, uh, Chris and Sound are gone. Uh, well, that hit, hit did not do what I thought it would! Mafia did a great job, though, of clearing out a lot of vehicles. Hello, Lado. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lado just saw a crowd of cars and drove into it, which I don't blame. I would do the same, really. And, uh, yeah. Oh, Longbow's almost gone. Uh, we are in an awkward position here, but not the worst position. We're at least fairly central in all of this. We're surrounded by orange. <laughs> How very fitting for uh, for me. Oh, well, that can give us a bump. That's fine. Uh, oh, well, orange, you nearly friendly fired your team off the map. <laughs> I'm going to get on the throttle because the last thing I want to be doing is using a Remus as a ramp car. That would be bad. There is some yellow team friendly fire. We will turn and save a Gliska if we can. Uh, try and stop Gliska from uh, rolling over. There is a Lado trying to escape this mess. There's a blue car escaping all of the mess over here. Don't you think about running away. Who uh, Destiny was trying to run away, but uh, <laughs> we spotted it, and now they're involved with the fight again, although they've got mostly clear. We'll punt an orange car around. Blue car's gone for a flip. Oh, <laughs> that was a really weird... That was just like a... Oh, God. Brazen's jumped over us. It's like a pinball, like a bounce off of something there between our two cars. Uh, right, don't mind me. I'm going this way. I'm going this way. Oh, I could have been clever. I could have got on the brakes there and uh, had a car jump over me. But I was not clever enough. Brazen is following us. I'm going to go this way. I don't know why. We're currently just doing a round and round in circles game. Oh, hello. Don't mind me. I have made an appearance. Uh, Brazen, do you want to go down the pit? I would quite like you to go down the pit. Sadly, Brazen does not want to go down. I don't know why we're circling the pit. I feel like well, this is a dangerous pit to be circling. Uh, could We could push Crane off, but somebody would just push us off at that point. Orange have quite a lot of cars still alive. We should probably start focusing on Orange team. If 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 we're being totally sensible here. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. No, Lado. Lado is gone. 
<laughs> Lado was an unfortunate victim of the uh, pursuit of Orange team. Ah, oh, damn it. That Orange card just got going soon enough. We nearly got in trouble there, but thankfully the strength of the Mupava saved me. Uh, there's a lot of Orange cars still going around, which is not helpful. There's four of them? Five? I think some shenanigans have occurred. <laughs> I just... I'm just not quite sure who has shenanigans it. Well, there's an orange car falling off. I think I'm the last of my team left. Possibly. Uh, judging by the mini-map and the dots spinning around like a lunatic, I'm going to say yes, I am the last surviving member of my team. You know what, Brazen? I know it's weird, but I think we've got to work together here. I don't think we have much of a choice. If we're going to beat the dastardly oranges... Uh, so I'm not trying to push you off, Brazen. I was trying to push you into the orange car to push it off. Uh, oh, we're gone. <laughs> Couldn't get it turned. Couldn't get it going in time. So, yeah, that was that. Was that. Um, yeah, I was, I was trying to use Brazen. I was trying to push Brazen's car into the orange car to get it off. But we were stationary in a bad place. So... <laughs> Uh, we are going to go... S oh, are we going to get hit by a turbine? Go on. Oh, no, not quite. Not quite close enough. Damn it. Ah. Crap. <laughs> ah. We shall see. I think Orange have, Orange have mostly got this. Um, I don't know whether they were the team that had a win or not. They might have done. Possibly. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a surprisingly chill way down. <laughs> oh, Brazen is left fighting the good fight in this one. I think Brazen is going to struggle. I mean, we might hope for a timeout. There is a timeout, but I don't know whether it will be the number of players, I should think, on the other team that will do it to give them a victory in all of this. think. Maybe. <laughs> I think they're the winners. Are they the winners overall? I don't know. <laughs> I genuinely am not sure. The game is not really given us much information. We go again. Maybe we are stuck in an infinite loop of sumo. It's possible. I don't know. Uh, right. Who is going in what? Well, there's a fight over the fugitive. Gliska's in the Mupava over there. I'll drive something different. As okay, I'll go. The, I'll go on a fugitive. Why not? Uh, we'll have a go with something else. Joe has already killed. Oh, we've got one of the yellow teams off. Go on, Gliska. Can we get the yellow team's other Mupava off the platform? No, we cannot. Some the swarm of orange has turned up. Uh, oh, and a yellow car I just saw drove straight off into the pit of oblivion. Um, hey, Chris. That was just mistimed by me. There's a, oh, there's a flamey pink map of it. Joe! Joe is just on a killing spree at the moment. We need to be worried about... <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, we definitely need to be worried about Joe. Uh, that's a lot of vehicles that Joe has killed. The map of us are all chasing each other at the moment. Ow. Well, there's one on its roof, but it's way too far away from anything useful. That was unexpected. Uh, <laughs> orange cars everywhere. Oh! Hey, that's bad. Bad. Yep, definitely bad. Definitely bad. <laughs> no. Leave the fugitive alone. Oh, we don't want to go up there, but well, we're going that way. Never mind. <laughs> the game hath decreed. We're going that way. I'm going to Oh, I don't know who hit that, but someone just saved me. I'm going to say it was a teammate, because it was glorious, whoever did it. Hello, Hyper. Oh. Uh, bloody hell, someone has just launched. Uh, oh, yeah, there's the imposter blue car has been bullied. Uh, I'll try I tried to save Gliska. I don't know whether it's worked. I think it might have done, actually. Uh, we just managed to get in the way and cause enough problems for them. <laughs> I 
well, everyone died. We took out two Mapuvas, so it was a it, like it was a sacrifice I was willing to make to to remove two Mapuvas from the game. There was always a chance we were going to die, but it was worth it. So yeah, there there is that. There there is that. Uh, to be fair, level eight, I thought this was the one with the. Insurgents from rat buggies. I slightly ballsed up the selection, so that's my bad. I did, it was intended to be that one. Uh, I don't know why that wasn't the one that came up, um, but yeah, it was. It was supposed to be that one. Uh, we have got we've got two of us on our team. We have got one orange mupover left that has just been deposited off the map. We are in a pretty pretty good place at the moment. We are in a pretty strong position for now. Lado is going to try and chase down a Ninetales if they can. Uh, Ninetales having managed to roll over the top there. Uh, we're, going to, we're going to go chase around in blue team space, are we? <laughs> I mean, I guess it's a way to go. Uh, it's just not quite within the, in the spirit. It's Salmon and Ninetales are the two remaining vehicles that aren't blue team or aren't my team um <laughs> just gonna bully nine tails into submission basically sure what could go what could go wrong uh crazy baboon thank you very much for the uh, super chat saying annex driving not an orange car scandalous i know it's terrible the game forced me into blue team it's terrible it's terrible it will not stand it will not do we should always be in an orange car uh, oh god, Hyper. That's risky. <laughs> That's uh, definitely, definitely risky. Kaliska just chased Salmon across the road, and uh, not to, to mostly no avail. They can have their bumping jaw. We win at this point, right? Um, at, at, this, at this point, we will win the game by virtue of we have more cars left. Ninetales is hiding under the ramp. <laughs> uh, Lado, do not get out pushed by a dominator. Come on, Lado. You can do this. You can do this. Oh, it's a good save. I'm surprised the dominator had the pushing power to, to, to get that going. It is quite powerful. Oh, Gliska with a big hit. Almost enough of a hit. Not quite. Very good effort. A minute to go. Can we find a win? Will it be? I don't even know. We might be stuck in perpetual sumo uh, at this point. I mean, Salmon hit the door and it, it honestly didn't do that much. <laughs> uh, that, is the, that is, of course, the trouble for either the Dominator or the Fugitive. Although, did Hype... Oh, no, Hyper couldn't quite... So close to Hyper managing to take out one of them, but nope. Ninetales is starting to feel the wrath of two Mupavuz here. Oh, though, has got to the safety ramp. He's... Oh, Gliska, no! Gliska! All we had to do was stay on the platform. And Ninetales might kill Hyper. Although, oh, Lado's done it. Lado will have done the job. Lado taken out nine tails. Hyper was not as close to the edge as I thought from that distance. Lado may well have saved it. Although nine tails won't technically be dead, as although Gliska wasn't dead either by the end of it. Uh, <laughs> the match is over, uh, and we lost. I don't honestly have any idea how it decided to score that one, but there we go. <laughs> They were the winners, I guess. <laughs> Joe, Salmon, Ninetales, Brazen, Aaron, Longbow, and Crane were victorious in that one. <laughs> Scoring's a little bit confusing for reasons I'm not fully sure of. That's what happened. But there we go. It was a round of sumo. It wasn't quite the round of sumo that I expected it to be, um, which was my mistake on that one. But... Uh, <laughs> Oh, uh, it was some fun. It was a good fun little arena of uh, 
causing some crashes. It was about as accurate as the scoring on the actual sumo game. So yeah, that's uh, that's <laughs> that's GTA for you. Ah. That though is going to be it for today's stream. I hope you enjoyed our little makeshift sumo, if you will. So the makeshift sumo that allows for a larger lobby size, so to speak. And yeah, that wasn't quite the arena that I meant to, the game, the version of that that I meant to pick. Uh, so that will have to make an appearance potentially next week. Potentially next week we will, uh, we will have that one turn up. However, that is indeed going to be it for today. I thank you all very much for uh, for watching. I hope you have all enjoyed this uh, Sunday selection of mayhem for you. <laughs> uh, I <clears throat> I'm losing my voice apparently. Christ. Um, I'll be back on on Wednesday with some more RimWorld. We're actually getting quite close to uh, to completing RimWorld now. We are really not far away from getting the rocket turned on and all of the mayhem that goes on goes on with that. So hopefully, and of course, Rescue and James May, the all important things. Uh, hopefully, folks, you'll be able to uh, come and watch that on a, on a Wednesday evening. I know it's not racing, but it is very good fun. I highly recommend it. Of course, a very big thank you to uh, everybody who has donated this evening. It is very, very much appreciated indeed. I think I read everything out. I apologise as ever if I did miss anything along the way. Oh, hello. Sometimes a little bit... Uh, sometimes a little bit difficult to keep track of everything. Uh, so, yeah. Do apologise if I missed anything. However, that is going to... Oh, well, we actually just got pushed into a mugger. I mean... I think I got my money back. <laughs> um, yeah, I think so. Oh, and lots of things are going wrong for us. Uh, yeah, that one is going to be it. That's going to be it from me. Uh, of course, thank you everybody for, for watching, for spending your evening, your afternoon, your morning uh, with us for three hours of just general nonsense. On, on GTA. I said, I'll be back on Wednesday for some more streaming. I hope to see plenty of you folks there. That, though, shall be it from me. Until next time, a goodbye. <laughs>